Yeah, so today I'm gonna check out Little Gator Game, a game that I've uh, seen a few of the streamers I follow playing, and I thought it'd be an interesting little game to kind of check out. Um, I mean, the gist of it is... It's Zelda, but not Zelda. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say on that. Um, but you know, before I start, uh, first of all, thanks for clicking the video if you're watching on YouTube later. But also, uh, yeah, also thank you to Kat who gave me this for my birthday, so shout out to Kat, thank you so much for this. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna play it immediately. That's enough laying around, I want to do something fun. Big Sis will play with me, I wonder where she went. Okay. But I mean, it's a sandbox. <laughs> oh no, the ground is lava! Um, but I did play Spirit Tracks, just on the note of like, what I played during the startup of the stream. It was like, a link between worlds. The DS games were good. I had Spirit Tracks and uh, the one before it, Phantom Hourglass. I still have them, actually. They're behind me. I will play them this year because I want to get around to playing all the Zelda games before Tears of the Kingdom comes out. So, I'll be starting that up again. I gotta continue from the Game Boy ones. Especially now that I have the uh, analog pocket, I can play them in a much better manner than I was before. So, I'm up to Oracle of Ages next, and then... Um, Minish Cap. And then I gotta play, uh, Wind Waker, which somehow I've never played before. Okay. Big sis, big sis, big sis! I'm bored! What are you doing? I'm just looking at an article for that Legend of Hero game. Puzzles, monsters, the usual. No, I don't want to read about it anymore. Can't it be out already? I want to be the legendary hero. You and me both. Ah, uh, but we don't need single player Legend of Hero. We want something we can play together. How hard even is it to be a legendary hero anyway? You just need a sword and shield. And a hat. Of course, a silly pointy hat. And you have to be clad in green. I am green. Great. You're already halfway there. As a matter of fact, hold still right there for a minute. I look so cool. It's like you jumped right out of the magazine. Now, as is tradition, you must choose a heroic name. What about Heroey Heroson, Hero Meister the Third? Okay, but. This is what all the NPCs are going to call you for the whole game. Your name can be as silly or as serious as you want it to be. As long as it means something to you. Wait, Spirit Tracks is $70 for a u loose cartridge. Holy crap. Really? That's kind of nuts. Um, uh-oh. I have to type it. <laughs> I have, like, controller? I'm playing this on PC, uh... Go. I, I usually... Just... You know... I usually just go with, uh... Just some sort of... Weird spelling of... Of Link. I am Link! Hero of Legend! Pleasure to meet you, Link! English carts are rare? Is, it, is this one of these things where, like, maybe the American cartridges are expensive? Because that can happen. Let's see. Spirit Tracks DS. I'm checking eBay. Holy shit. A box copy of... When did this happen? 140 Australian for a box copy of it. I mean, I see one for 95 Australian, but yeah, I mean... 
Okay, I mean, in Australia you can pick up a box copy for roughly 70 US. Like, there's quite a few Australian- hang on. Uh, AUD to USD. Yeah, so there's quite a few Australian copies of the game that are, like, boxed with manuals for 70 bucks. American. So, there's quite the discrepancy there. Still expensive, but yeah, man. Just get an Australian copy, <laughs> if the American copies are really that bad. The DS is region free anyway, so you can play it. Like, I've got a few American copies of games. Um, yeah. Now you need some kind of quest. But what? Hold on. There we go. We need to get you up to speed. Set the stakes with something dramatic. A hundred billion years of darkness. Haha, <laughs> a little over dramatic, but I can work with that. How about it all started 100 billion years ago? 100 billion years ago. A brave hero set out on a quest to find something fun to do. With the help of their big sis, they made a whole fantasy game with rules and everything. They also made a pact to last all of playtime. No work allowed. But one day after many a playtime, Big Sis went away for school, leaving the little hero to play alone. As time marched on, it seemed like the hero would never get to play with Big Sis ever again. Until one day when Big Sis came home from fall break. Maybe now they could play again, just like they used to. Feels like yesterday, huh? Haha, <laughs> yep. Those hundred billion years really flew right by. Kinda makes you want to jump up and do it all again right now, doesn't it? Well, I really have to finish this group assignment. Oh, come on. You've been working on that all day. I barely got you to come out here with me. Yeah, sorry, kiddo. It's a tough project. Plus, I haven't heard from the other members in a while, so I'm having to pull a lot of extra weight myself. Huh? But, uh, don't worry. I I've had to punch above my weight before. This project doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, you're amazing, big sis. One little assignment is nothing. You'll finish this thing before we even know it. I believe in you, 100%. This game is cute. Oh yeah, no, it's it's great. Uh, just the little bits I've seen. It's got a cute art style and uh, it's got a it's got a sense of humor. And now she'll never finish it in a million years, dude. Tell me at least. Uh, tell me she at least looked at the decorations. Those took forever to put up. Not even a peek, but thanks for trying, guys. Ah, oh, sorry, Lank. I wish there was something else we could do. It's okay, Jill. We all did our best. We can make monsters and treasures all day long, but we can't play that game for her. Avery, that's it. I'll play the game for her. They said it couldn't be done. Care to elaborate? Right now, all this stuff we made is just loose cardboard lying around. Empty parts beside waterfalls that don't even have any cool secret caves behind them. There's no story, no drama. We need to put it all to use. A legendary hero, an epic quest. We have to show her what she's missing. Are you sure we should be trying to distract her from a school project? I've been doing college level work recently trying to get into that prep school. It's really hard. It's no problem for my sis. It just takes a million years, and I can't wait that long. She'll have like 10 million years to finish it later. I'm not entirely sure that, that math tracks. It tracks! Just a thought. But have you tried having a grown up conversation with her about all this? You know, before attempting to gamify the whole island? We have a rule about that no grown up stuff during playtime. The only way to get her to play is by playing. Just enough to get her hooked again, please? You already had me at drama. Heh, <laughs> I, I guess I can make my study break a little longer to help out. Well, if everyone else is on board and you really think this will help, I trust you. Yes, alright, let's get to work. 
Each of you will make a quest for me to complete and reward me with one of the hero items. Avery, your quest is for the hero's hat. Hat, quest, got it, bye. Martin, you'll handle the shield. Gotcha. And Jill? The sword? Leave it to me. Exactly. And I'll play through the game myself to show my sister how much fun we're having. I'll do the quest, become the big hero, and win over big sis. Sounds like a plan that might almost work, possibly. You're right, it will definitely work. That's not what I said. Don't worry, Scales. We'll ace this assignment for sure. Hey sis, I'm gonna go play with my friends. Just a normal run-of-the-mill day on the island. Nothing special or exciting happening to my knowledge. Uh, okay kiddo. Have fun then. Oh, I will. Okay. I love the waddle. <laughs> So, you know, I mean, these are the enemies. Oh. You've got this, Link. Uh, you sure? I'm pretty high up. Don't worry, the legendary hero can climb to any height. Oh yeah, I'm a hero. What? I mean, there's no climbing yet. Alright, let's just go find the others. But, I mean, the premise of this game, I mean, you, you, you caught it there, it's... <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom isn't out yet. Why isn't it out yet? I almost said Breath of the Wild too, but I've been getting into the habit of calling the game by its uh, actual title. And not by the placeholder that everyone's been using for like the last five years. Hello! Hey, have you seen... Is it I, the bracelet shop? Look upon my array of beauties. Do you not desire them? Covet them? Mm hmm? Tell me, what is it that you truly want? Um, I'm looking for my friend Avery. There are pro- Yes, the energetic one! They have ascended to greater heights! But do not fear, for you can follow in their footsteps. With the help of my bracelets. You're saying a bracelet will help me climb cliffs? They are bracelets of power. They imbue you with strength the strength to keep going to tell the world who you are to ascend over your every obstacle to hold tight to the truth in your heart okay okay i'll take one fine <laughs> as i thought you desire my bracelets more than anything else in this world Mayhaps I could be persuaded to part with my beauties for a price. You carry confetti and cardboard in tow, no? You want the scraps of our broken crafting stuff, but it's just a bunch of junk. Ah, but they hold value to you. Do they not? Then they also hold value to me. Because I can take that value away from you. <laughs> Would you like to buy one of my beauties? Only a hundred clippings. I don't have a hundred, unfortunately. Let's just say yes. Dear, you lack the coin. Return to me with proper coinage. And one of my beauties can be yours. They got beetle down well, yeah. <laughs> uh, I love how he's portrayed in... um. In Breath of the Wild, just, uh, I don't know. All of his voice lines just re remind me of Little John and the East Side Boys. Oh. 
Okay, hang on. See, this is like a Korok seed. Okay, I'm not quick enough yet to do that. I mean, I think I need the bracelet first. I don't think I can climb any higher without the bracelet by the looks of it. Please don't climb the cliff face. Yeah, I can't climb without the bracelet. Okay, we need to find the sword. Destroy the water. Ah, it's so slippery. Imagine the sword was, like, right next to me and I just didn't get it. Oh, hello. You get the stick. Wow, the magic special sword. It's a stick! Eh, I guess it was pretty short notice. <laughs> Quick, I have to defeat these enemies and help Jill! Okay, there we go, and this is sword. Oh boy, junk, I should probably hang on to all these bits and pieces of junk I'm breaking. Maybe I can recycle, maybe we can recycle it into something new. Oh, please help, I'm surrounded still. Use a special sword to help me. Oh, is that all of them? I sat down. Hang on. Wow, super cool moves, hero. You have completed my quest. I mean, yeah, thanks, but you're back to doing schoolwork. I thought you were playing. I am, I promise. Just trying to squeeze in a practice quiz on the side. I'm a little stretched thin right now, studying for that prep school. I don't want to waste any time. But the second you need me, I'll switch gears again. Okay, well, see you later then, I guess. Sis, sis, check it out. I found a special sword in the forest. And I rescued Jill from scary monsters. Very cool, don't break anything. Haha, <laughs> okay. She loved it. Okay, what's next? Oh, I should check in on Martin. I think he's in the sandy area. <laughs> Raw scraps, I need to get scraps. I mean, what, Tears of the Kingdom is like three months away? It's not that far away. Alright, it was just a hundred, so, I mean, I'll keep collecting. Please don't drop up, up on the rock ledges. What? Hmm, where could it be? I can't find it anywhere. You looking for something? Yeah, there's this stick around here. It's my favorite stick. Uh, I feel like I left it right here in the center of this conspicuous opening. Uh, <laughs> tell the truth. Oh, that was your stick, haha. <laughs> Oops, I thought it was for me. My friend told me that there was a sword hidden in the forest and when I found that stick, it seemed perfect. A secret sword? Oh, that reminds me. While I was looking for my stick, look what I found. Uh, oh, a wooden sword. This must be what Jill wanted me to find. Thanks a lot. Do you want your stick back? Don't worry about it. You can hold on to it as long as you're enjoying it. See you around. Okay, so now we have sword. Which <laughs> probably has no difference, I mean. But still, we have sword now. See, tell the truth. And you'll get rewarded with weapons. But 
That's that's the moral of the story. see a desert area, but I think I'll go buy the bracelet. Or, I guess, sandy area. That's the description I was given. Mmm, yes, it is I, the bracelet shop. Would you like to buy one of my beauties? Only a hundred clippings. Yes. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Here, take my beauty and make it yours. I got a bracelet. It gives me the strength to climb walls. With only one, my stamina is pretty low. With more, I could climb longer. But do not be mistaken, one is never enough. Look upon my array of beauties. Imagine the strength they lend me. If you still yearn for my beauties, seek me out. You will find me where you'd least expect. Goodbye! Oh, okay. Actually magical. You'll be watching closely but placing phone on stand. Nah, that's fair. <laughs> All good. Oh, hello. Hello, fellow mountain climber. These bracelets sure work great, don't they? Uh, I guess so. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. They're just bracelets, right? Might be a placebo. Not a chance. I, myself, am, of course, a proficient mountain climber. But when that frightful character told me that they could help, you bet I bought one. Heck, I bought four of them. Now look at me. I can climb anything, go anywhere. You, fellow mountain climber, we will have a climb off. I will traverse this mountain and hide amongst its peaks. If you think your meager one bracelet is good enough to match my abilities, Prove it and find me amongst the mountains. <laughs> there's, there's that stamina bar. So you know. Listen. When I played Breath of the Wild, I was on base stamina and three hearts for like 90% of the game. I've got this. He's over there. I can see him. I got this. Uh, hey, Link. Uh, wow, um, what is all this? It's something to spice up our game time and impress your big sis all at once. A restaurant. Those create lots of conflict, and grown-ups love conflict. A restaurant? Conflict? See, there will be an opposing restaurant that badmouths them to the press. And then in Act 2? All the refrigerators will mysteriously be unplugged overnight. The drama with all that spoiled food. How will they impress the food critic? Not to mention all the interpersonal tension between the chefs. Uh, I don't know. All this conflict is a bit stressful, don't you think? Huh, stressful? Yeah, uh, it, it kind of feels like grown-up stuff, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. oh, no, 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 not grown-up stuff. Forget I even said anything. No stress allowed. Is there fall damage? No, it's pretty laid back. There's no threat of anything. It's just a little exploration sandbox game. Oh, there it goes. So the hat, right? Did you at least make me the hat? Right, the hat, uh, to be honest, I, I forgot everything you were talking about the moment I left. But you seem to have a pretty clear idea of what you want. Why don't you make the hat yourself? But it needs to be a quest. Can do. Hero, your quest is to craft a hat. There we go. Simple. <laughs> okay. Wait. Uh. 100 clippings. There we go. Got it.
Hey, that wasn't so hard. I made a hat all on my own. Quest complete. Oh, I mean, almost complete. I have to show Avery first. Wow, what an excellent, heroic looking hat. Ha, huh, thanks. Does this satisfy your quest, son? Oh, yes, absolutely. And even better news, I remembered something about the game. It has a glider. It makes exploration so easy. A glider? The ones I played didn't have that. Oh, well, I must be thinking of a different game in the series. Anyway, hero, for fulfilling your heroic questing duty, I must reward you. What? Reward? But I already have the hat. Hero, I must depart. Please take a reward as I leave you goodbye. Is this a shirt? Avery, wait, whose shirt is this? Hi, I guess I must... This must be the glider they were talking about. I mean, wow, a glider. Simply jump again in the air to glide. Sis, sis, sis. I ventured to the top of the mountain. I had to climb all over. And at the top, a special hero hat. Looking sharp. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All that's left is Martin. Gotta head to the sandy hilly area. <laughs> it's... Yeah. I mean... This is just gonna make you want to play Breath of the Wild or the new game. You know? This is all it's doing. Ah, fellow mountain climber, you've found me. What took you so long? I bet you think you're quite hot at the hotshot now, having traversed these treacherous cliffs. Little do you know, you have a lot to learn. You have learned the art of ascent, yes? However, you are quite lacking in the art of descent. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> it just ragdolls down the mountain. I'm good. So, you, have you learned from my example? I, uh, I guess? Ha, it requires much practice to achieve this level of mastery. Go, and perhaps one day you will measure up to my abilities. What? Channel the power of the ragdoll, 600... Okay. And it's 600 clippings to become a ragdoll. I guess let's, let's do that. <laughs> no, it's it's legally distinct. It's like, you know, it's a, it's a t-shirt. And it's inverted, right? Like, we're wearing brown armor, and we're green. Whereas in the, uh, the hero of Nintendo's choice wears green. but isn't green, you know? It, there's, a, there's a distinction there. Oh yeah, we, hang on, what are you? Oh, hey, Link, I've got the shield ready. Let me go grab it. What? No, you can't just give me things. It has to be a reward for a quest. Doing quests is the only way to become the hero and for my sister to play with me. Right, uh, talking to her is out of the question. Completely out of the question. We went over this. Playtime, no grown-up stuff, quest, drama, fun. But maybe if that doesn't work, we can try talking to her. Too bad it's going to work perfectly and we won't need to. <laughs> Fine. You want a quest? How about a fetch quest? Fetch quests are the best quests. Oh, I, I mean... I sure do love me a fetch quest. So, go over there and grab that thing. I need it. For reasons. Huh? Well, yes, okay. Quest time! That's going to be the shield. <laughs> Got it, it's a uh, pot. Weird. I wonder what Martin's plan for this is. 
Rah, slice the monsters. Here you go, Martin. Got the pot. Reward time. Wow. Amazing. You went over there and grabbed a thing and came back. Truly a task worthy of being called heroic. So, here's your reward, hero. This is... Martin, this is the thing I just gave you. No, it's not. It's your shield. Really? Yes. Wow, a shield, amazing. In addition to defensive capabilities, it also makes a great sled. I can't wait to find a hill and slide down it on this pot lid, uh, I mean shield. Well done, hero. You have completed my quest. Yeah, thanks a lot, Martin. Now go tell your sister you want her to play with you. Not gonna happen, bye. Sis, I found this weird round thing, right? But my friend revealed himself to be an alchemist. He transmuted it into a shield. Incredible. Yeah. That's everyone. Phew. Okay, okay. All that's left is to go recruit my sis. I'm ready for this, right? <laughs> yeah, it does the thing. I need more, more scraps. But I mean, yeah, this is the reason I wanted to check this out. It's just in the spirit of what I've been doing lately, which is playing games that are more chill in nature and not, you know, subjecting myself to something extremely difficult. This, this fits into the spirit of that. Come on, as if she's not going to be impressed by that. I air dropped in. So what do you think? Just a sec, let me finish this thought. Uh-huh, 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 and... Done. What's up? Well, you're done? Oh, no, 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 I'm nowhere close to finished. But I've got a minute, what do you need? Well, look at me, I I'm the little green hero. And all those quests I've been doing, it's just like the game we played. Oh uh, yeah, you sure have been busy. Yeah, it looks fun, right? Oh, kiddo, yeah. Just like all times, right? Kiddo. I think it's great that you're playing with your friends, but I've really got to focus on this project. Still? But I did all this stuff. Well, why'd you agree to come if you weren't going to spend time with me? Remember I promised playtime means no grown up stuff, right? Kiddo, I... Maybe you're right. I guess I'll just get out of your way. Go ahead and have fun. your fun without me. Well, so much for the legendary quest. Oh, sorry, Link. I guess it wasn't meant to be. What? <laughs> no way. Didn't you see that spark in her eye? All I saw was the bags underneath them. I'm telling you, we almost had her. We just didn't wear her enough. We need to go bigger and better. We need to go... There. The big island? Imagine all this, but over there. A bigger forest, a longer river, a taller mountain, an irresistible adventure in every direction she looks. There's no way she'll be able to say no. What do you say? I don't know, dude. The entire big island? That's not what we signed up for. Honestly, I'm just exhausted from working on this one. How? Oh. Hey, Gil, uh, aren't you supposed to meet up with your school group soon? Oh my gosh, you're right. What time is it? Oh, I hope they didn't start without me. Sorry, Scales. I'll, I'll see you later. Uh, I gotta get going, too. Some guys are expecting me at the splash pad. Good effort, team. You gonna be okay? Uh, yeah, I'll be fine. Don't worry, buddy. Maybe we can win her over next fall. 
Or maybe not. Bye. <laughs> it just cartwheels. <laughs> what, what was that exit? Just cartwheels into the ocean. Or the lake. Ah. Now what? Ah, he's texting me. What's good, Link? You're coming a lot. Tom? Coming where? We were waiting for you at the island and you didn't show. What? No way I'm on the island now. By the playground. Wave at me. I don't see you. Tom, that's the big island. We said to be on the little one. Oh, might be, might be. <laughs> I was out here like, where are those guys? Cool news though, I texted like everyone and a bunch of peeps came out to help build stuff. Really? That's incredible. Yeah, but y'all weren't here, so they wandered off all over the place. Oh. I don't think they're still doing the same game though, just in their own space, I guess. Oh. Yeah, don't worry. You got big charisma, you can round them up again, no problem. I'll send anybody you met on the little island an invite to. Great, thank you, this is amazing! We could really make an island-wide game happen. It's practically begging to happen, to be honest. But listen, come meet me at the playground first thing, because I got big ideas for decor. I'm next to the blinky radio tower on the big island, not little one, huh? Oh, it's like a... is that a llama? Cool, cool, I'll be there soon. Okay, okay, eyes on the prize, Link. It's not over yet. All you have to do is go corral a bunch of strangers and turn them into your friends. Find Avery, Martin, Jill, and convince them to get back on board. And compose a dramatic spectacle the likes of which the world has never seen in a single afternoon. Easy, this'll be a walk in the park. Oh, and, uh, I shouldn't keep Tom waiting at the playground. Time to head for the radio tower. Hey, big sis, better grab a laundry basket, because I'm about to knock your socks off. Oh my god. That <laughs> pun. Also, hello, Haley. Sorry, I just wanted to finish reading before I say hi. Yes. Ah, <sighs> alright. This game is really chill. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else to do on this island. I might just see what scraps I can get, because there's still... The Ragdoll, which costs like... How much was it? Okay. I I'm curious what that is. Oh wait, there's a pot over there. Come on, there should be enough on this one island to do everything I need to do. Oh, there was also this thing. Hmm. This is either one of two things. I'm either doing this wrong, or there really is enough to... No, no. Drop! Yeah! Got it. I was gonna say running shoes. Okay, there was another one. What was the other one?
Oh no, a redeem. <laughs> do, do you have any, just out of interest, do you have any idea what the redeem is about? It's funny if like people think it's something completely different to what they get. No idea, okay. Well, comes from me playing a warrior game and once upon a time, Whenever I used to go to parties and we would play, uh, like, Mario Party. I would always pick Wario. You know, every time the game would start, I'd be like, Oh yes, it's time to fuck! <laughs> or something like that. Just, yeah. Being a nuisance with the Wario voice, so that's what that redeem is. It's just me to do the Wario voice. Oh my god, oh yes! I just wanted to be distracting to make people laugh, and then the odds of me winning in Mario Party kind of increased because for the first few seconds they'd be laughing. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the redeem, along with that little explanation. <laughs> it's gonna be fun when I play another Warrior game. Yeah, freedom. Yeah, what the heck happened? Well, I was just standing here minding my own business, meditating, eyes closed, completely motionless, blending in with nature, when suddenly, these pieces of cardboard appeared around me. Oops, that, that's all my fault. Me and my friends placed these all over the island. Guess we got carried away. <laughs> sorry. There's no need to be sorry. I, I would have broken out myself, but after staring at the designs of these creatures long enough, well, I fell in love. The simple, elegant shape, the exquisite color, the lifeless eyes staring into the void. I couldn't bring myself to harm such an image. I only wish there was a way to bring that image to life. Ah, if only. Anyway, I must take my leave. Oh, okay, well, if we run into each other again, maybe you could help me with the game? Hmm, perhaps. Only time will tell. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, thoughts? It's kind of funny, because I've been streaming for like six years, and I hadn't I hadn't done the, the warrior voice until I played the warrior game, which was like four years into this. But now it's kind of become a bit of a meme. I should have enough, right? Okay, so... Left button. <laughs> oh no, it's complete ragdoll mode. It's like gang beasts. Oh, it's a toggle, okay. I guess I should go see. There was a dude on the mountain that was showing off because they could ragdoll. They might be gone. Oh no! But I guess I'll head to the big island next. Yeah, there you are. Are you sure this isn't dangerous? Uh, of course it's dangerous. But as we all know, in video games, children are invincible! What? No. I'm trying to think of a game where, like, a child gets hurt. I don't believe that for a second. Hmm. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> I'm really thinking about this. I, I swear there's a game where, like, you can comedically hurt children. But it's on the tip of my tongue and I can't remember which one it is. Didn't I say it? Ah, there it is. No! I gotta go from above. Full damage. What? Oh. Okay, it's not an open. You just destroy it and it gives you a bunch of scraps. Behold, there is nothing here. Lies. <laughs> I don't believe it. Especially if this is a Zelda game. Or trying to be one. Should never believe that a dead end is a dead end. I'm curious, what are these buoys doing? Oh, it's just marking the edge of the map, okay. Alright, let's go to the big island. <laughs> what, what are these things? Fire? I can't tell what these are meant to be. Clam? Hey, 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 this is a blast. Hey, Palio, wanna make some stuff go boom? Yes, absolutely. I, I wish more people said hello that way. Yeah, that's the spirit. Wait right there. I got something that will blow you away. Wow. Uh, you? Oh, uh, yeah. Feast your eyes on this. I got a firecracker stuck inside a bowling ball? I don't think I've ever seen anything this dangerous in my entire life. And now I'm holding it. Awesome. That, oh pal of mine, is my greatest creation yet. Roll that down to the end of a tunnel and set it off, and you can cause all kinds of chaos. Yeah. Wanna take it for a tumble? There is nothing I want more in the world. Yeah, I like your style, Palio. Jet onto that spot right there, and I'll lay out some targets for you to blow up. I might even give you a little prize if you get them all. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Come on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> First try. Wait, what do you mean? I got them. I got them all. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there was some behind me. Whoops. You got him. You got him. <laughs> that was explosive, pal. I'm all fired up. 
You better scram before anyone comes sniffing around. Take this and go have a blast. Later. Oh, I got plus one friend. Alright, cool. I mean, I like how lighthearted this is. But it's definitely got me wanting to play Zelda. Just seeing this UI again. Cool that you have the freedom to do this. <laughs> Just I don't I don't really have to use the bombs strategically. I mean maybe later I will, but for now. What is this? Oh I think these are just memories. I just realized these are memories. I would have never made it up there myself. It just clicked what that is. It's like when you could hang out with your sister. I don't see this tower, though, that they want me to go to. Balloons? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, I'm, I'm heading to the balloons. Oh. Help, I can't get down. SOMEBODY GET ME DOWN! <laughs> ah! Ugh. Did you all right? Uh, fine, I'm fine, sorry about that. I was just decorating when a gust of wind started blowing all my balloons away. I tried to grab them all, but pretty soon I was blowing away too. Sorry, could you do me another favor and take these off my hand? I can't even look at them right now. I got a bag of balloons. Now I can take to the skies and try not to get blown away. But you're an owl. You should be able to fly. Are they an owl? They are. The sand chases a little, but I'm just happy to be on the ground. Sweet. So oh, right button. I see. You swap active. What Zelda item is that supposed to be representing? I think that's... I don't think there was ever an upgrade that would let you go upwards like that. Oh, you know what? No, Ravali's Gale. I'm wrong. Ravioli. Falco Lombardi. I forgot about his ability. Yeah, this is, I think... Ravali's Gale. <laughs> Some of these are tricky to get to. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I got ya. I don't know, I'm assuming there's like steam achievements for getting these. 
Oh no. Oh no, that's okay. I thought for a sec there was a cap. I mean, whatever it is I need to get next, I'll be ready for it. What is this? Broken scooter. This is one of those wheelie boards like they have in school gymnasiums. Dang, it's all busted up. Did somebody drop this? Maybe I can fix it. Fifty? That's it? Oh, I see. <laughs> it's just... It's another shield. But now it's kind of... I can ride it around like this. But uh, I'd be fixing it with paper. Uh, surely that... You know what? It's fine. Get it out! Get it out! Get what out? The bowling ball? Ah! Hang on. I must use this opportunity to get the most difficult one. Wow, that feels much better. Thank you. So that's it. But you can still do this again. All right. Hang on. Get them all. But what happened to the bowling ball? And can I talk to him still? There's a question mark still on him. I think I got everything practically here anyway. He still has a question mark. What? Oh, there we go. I'm feeling much better now that you pulled that whatever it was out of me. Thank you. And you guys somewhere once you were done? You blowhole blasted me into outer space. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. It was awesome. Oh, well, uh, if you ever want to do it again, feel free to climb up there. I don't mind. Okay, we have made friends with the whale. Oh wait, I got something. Oh. A sl perfect disguise for slime conventions. Fits perfectly, will definitely hold off the vacuum of space. <laughs> okay, I mean... Now it's less Zelda-like, but that's fine. Get them all.
My friend told me something, but I'm not sure I believe them. They said if you're going fast enough and you jump right when you hit the water, you bounce. I want to try it myself, but I'm not a good swimmer. Maybe I'll never know for sure. I just, I just did it. Wait, hang on. You just have to jump right after you hit the water. Oh, you have to be going faster. Walking probably is too slow. Or like a skipping stone. Oh no, there it is. I think. I think. <laughs> is this right? I can't tell if I'm just submerging myself or if I'm doing what... You just have to jump right after you hit the water. You have to be going fast enough. Walking is probably too slow. Shield? Ah, oh, no, but it... That does give you momentum. Oh, there it is. Wow, so cool. There it is. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Alright, so it's surfing. You did it. I can't believe you did it. I'm going to tell everyone at the playground I saw someone really skip on the water. See you there. Uh, I got a donut? Oh no, it's an inner tube. Sure. It makes skipping easier. So like... Oh, see that's... It's hard to control though, you can't steer. I'm fully expecting to get a bow and arrow, and then all this effort I'm doing to get to these aerial enemies, it's gonna be moot. I could just collide. I don't even have to use the sword. I still have no idea what this tower is. I haven't seen anything that's... Oh, you know what? <laughs> I think I'm taking this too literally. This is a game where a bunch of kids are, like, using their imagination to make up an adventure game, and I'm looking for a literal tower. This, it's probably something small, and they're making it out to be, like, a big tower, when it's not, in reality, a big tower. Like, it'll probably be, like, a phone booth or something.
What is this? Junk. Does that say junk for trash or junk and trash? Junk for trash. Okay. I'm intrigued. Oh, there it is. It's over there. Okay, I can see it. It is actually a real towel. Where is this junk for trash? Oh, there's a... There's a fox over here. Are you junk for trash? Hi, do you want to come and play a game at the playground? Is that still on? Sure, I'll come and play in a minute. I want to skip rocks for a bit longer. Can I try? Sure, there's all sorts of good rocks around. Help yourself. I found a rock. If I throw it, I might be able to skip it over the water. I can get one or two skips, but I really want to see someone skip three times. Okay. I think it just keeps going perpetually, <laughs> like... That's quite some force I'm throwing it with there. Like, look at them bounce, they're still going even after. Okay, I bet if I throw it like that, it'll still hit. Yeah. Let's see if I can get that over there. A little higher. Yeah! Alright. I've had my fun. Dang, you must have found a really good rock, or maybe I'm just bad at this. Anyway, I'll come play with you at the playground now. See you there! Wait, is that the same whale, or is this a different whale? I think it's the same whale, it just turned up over here. Where is the trash, the junk for trash? I was promised junk for trash, where is it? Rock Smasher, strike! Yeah! Don't give up. It has a lot of HP. I don't see where... There's no map either. Okay, there's someone over there. Maybe that's junk for trash, I don't know. Did you lose something? Oh, hey guy, uh, traveler, hey, traveler guy, uh, I set down my thing, what's it called? Hmm, I set down my green wheelie thingy right here, and now I can't find it anywhere. If you're hanging around here, could you keep an eye out for it? Oh, right. The wheelie thingy? wheelie thingy. Here you go, I found it at the bottom of the canyon. Wow, it fell all the way down there, but it looks even better than before. Did you polish it or something? 
Yeah, it was a little scratched up, but I didn't want you to get it back broken. Thank you, uh, traveler guy. Now I can slide down the hills faster than ever. Yeah, take this. You earned it. Oh, but now... I get an even better one. <laughs> Bane of gymnasium floors, now in blue. I need to find that sign again. Whee! Uh-oh. Can't control it! <laughs> no, no, no! Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> I was right there. It's so hard to steer that thing. this. Channel that Breath of the Wild ability that I... Yep, 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 yep. There we go. <laughs> I wasn't a good swimmer as her yet. Come on, this is like... I'm disappointed. Nothing hidden behind the waterfall. It's like classic Zelda thing. I mean, I have to gather up friends anyway, so going to the tower, there isn't much use to it right yet. Okay, I've talked to you already. I want to find that sign again and try and find that spot. Whoops. Ravioli is ready. No, what have I done? <laughs> the wrong button. <laughs> I wanted to see what they're gonna say. Say the part about the thunderous crash. And down came the bees with a thunderous crash. I don't think I can get up there. Unless... Oh no, but that counts towards your stamina wheel as well. Okay, let's see if we can spot anything out from here. There's a chest. Hmm. I was promised junk for trash. Where is the junk for trash? <laughs> Uh-oh. No, it's fine. It's fine. Hang on, I can get up there. Just have to make good use of the stamina. I almost had it. I almost had it. <laughs> Got it. I don't really see anything of interest. Oh, hello. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. Hey, what's wrong? I climbed up here to look for the hero. But then I remembered that uh, I'm scared of heights. Oh, you climbed up too, Traveler. Now we're both scared. Uh, nope, I'm not scared. What? You're not? But, but... What if we fall and take fall damage? It'd reduce our health and penalize us for climbing so high. Health? Fall damage? Oh, are we not including those in our game? I mean, I haven't noticed those being a thing. Oh, phew, what a relief. Yeah, I've been climbing all over without a care. Wow, really? That sounds so fun. Thanks for curing my fear of heights, Traveler. Now I can get down from here and help the town. Give the hero my regards. Imagine you could just do that. Just decide, nah, just the laws of physics, we don't want to use them here. So they're not going to apply. Must be nice. I still don't know. Ah, <laughs> uh, I still don't know where this thing is. I, I have. I lost track of the sign. Rock smash us. Okay, hang on. This is familiar. Rock smash us strike. So the sign should be around here. This way to the amphitheater. Celebrate your next event with Science Overlook. Notice all performances must now be approved by a park authority. Yeah, but that's not it. Oh no, which ones are real? Wait, hero, don't break that. It might be one of my priceless heirlooms. Or it might be a monstrous imposter. I'm still not sure. I only own three pots, but there are seven here. If you can tell the difference, can you dispatch of these monsters? Please don't break any real pots if you can help it. <laughs> Priceless heirloom. Oh, that's, it's funny because when you play Zelda games, you kind of just break into people's houses and just smash their stuff. I mean, what if one of those pots are a priceless heirloom and you just walk in? You're like, Sack! Sack! <laughs> or whatever sound Lynx makes these days. Phew, I think you defeated them. They're all here. My priceless heirlooms are perfectly intact. Thank you. Well, that's it for my quest. You win. I guess we don't need these pots anymore. Oh, well, alright. Do you want to smash them? Yeah. Watching you smash stuff was awesome. It'll be an honor to have my priceless heirlooms smashed by the hero. Oh, and take this too. For doing such a good job. See you at the playground. Guess I'll need to find some other priceless heirlooms to fret over. You wouldn't happen to know a priceless heirloom guy, would you? What an honor. What an honor. What an honor. <laughs> uh, that's great. Took me forever to find her. She's good. I'm so invested in finding the sign again because I, I really want to go there. I think I've done this one.
Oh wow, I've, I've already been playing this for uh, an hour and a half, <laughs> almost. Jeez. Oh, I just missed it. I did the thing too late. It's adorable and you want to play it too. Yeah, I mean, I, I recommend this. It's just... One, if you're looking forward to Tears of the Kingdom. I mean, it'll give you a little bit of a fix. But also, it's, it's, it is adorable. It's just very light-hearted. Where is the sun? I wish there was a map. I have to find the sign. There's a sign that said junk for trash and it intrigued me, but I have no idea where it is now. I, I want to find out what it leads to. Oh. What's what's this? Well, hey there, traveler. Are you lost or something? Maybe a little. Ah, uh, well, it's nothing to be ashamed of. The island is pretty big for a little thing like you. Want to be friends? Ah, uh, sure. Another friendly face on the island is always welcome. I wish making friends was always this easy. Haha, <laughs> I know the feeling. See you around, you friend. Wait, did she call me little thing? She was like a foot tall. What's up, wanna chat? Anything cool around here? Well, sure, there's stuff all over. That's it? Yep. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's great. Useful NPC is useful. Oh, uh, yes, I found it. Junk for trash. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This way. But I was I was looking at it from this angle. Wait. Which way is it? <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Which way is it? The side that's why I got lost. I I saw it from this angle, so it was pointing to the right. So when I got up here, I made a right, and I didn't find anything, and I was so confused, but... <laughs> Which way is it? It has to be this way, because the other way, it, what, there was nothing there. That's just... I mean, I know what's going on from a technical perspective, it's just, it's... It's, it's an object, and the texture is just... No, it's not flipped. What? It's not even flipped, it's like... There's two versions of this texture. The arrow goes to the right and the arrow goes to the left. But like, why? All right, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I, I thought I had a rational explanation, but it doesn't make sense because it's the texture is not flipped. Still don't see anything. I've been lied to! <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, what does that sign even mean? Junk for trash. Oh, hello. It's Babar. No, it's not. Huh. You think you're a hotshot, don't you? Well, huh, you're not. Uh, hey, what do you know? Oh, yeah? Climb up this cliff and destroy the monsters on it. Huh. <laughs> There's no way, though. 
That's impossible. Whoa! Wow, amazing! Wait, was that it? That was it. <laughs> you destroyed them all, I can't believe it! You climbed up the whole thing, I was so scared and so high! And the way you smashed them up? Wow, just... wow! Um, <clears throat> well, Hotshot, I'm impressed. You've impressed me. <laughs> really? Here's your prize for being a hotshot, hotshot. <laughs> Confetti shower. Good going, hotshot. But where is junk for trash? I want I want to discover junk for trash. Oh, hello. You! You! Hey! Have you met the cool kids? Eh, uh, no. Who's that? Wait. We're kids. Why? Why are uh, we calling the other kids kids? You haven't heard of the cool kids? The the super cool kids that hang out over the windmill. Oh hey, gosh, if you meet them, tell them, tell them about me, please. Well, tell me about it. Over the windmill. What is this? Those dang hooligans! Hi, Mr. Doddler. Hey, kid. Care to give an old geezer a hand? Some ruffians rolled through and left a heap of litter all over my roof. Hey, that's not trash. Those are cool monsters for the game we're playing. So, it was your little friends that put them up there, huh? Uh, doesn't matter to me who did it. I just need you to scurry up there and get rid of them all. Eh, very well, O oh ancient sage, I shall clear your roof of these evil monsters. Uh-huh. Okay. I can't do an old man voice, it's just like, too typical. Thanks for cleaning those up for me, young'un. You just talk like this. Don't hurt yourself coming down. Ugh, oh, that was horrible. I got all the stuff off your roof. You sure did. Yep, no more cardboard to worry about. Uh-huh. I suppose you're waiting for a reward. Yeah, do you have any confetti to throw? <laughs> confetti? You being spouts always want a whole parade for a little hard work. Fine, fine. Let me see what I got on me. Here, have a piece of candy. I got the Mega Bubble Bubble Gum. This brand tastes kind of funny, but it blows the best bubbles. Run along now and don't let me find that wrapper on the ground later. I keep pressing the wrong button. What's this? Tastes sweet, looks cool. Is this just... Oh no, this is... <laughs> okay, I mean, yeah. It looks like it lasts longer than the, the balloons. So that's nice. Right, there's a lot of a lot of things to do around here. Huh, <laughs> water's real nice, huh? crisp fall day like this, it makes you wanna jump right in. Pity, can't swim. Oh no, I, I can swim really good, I can teach you. It's really easy, see? First you submerge, so you just your snout is above water, and then... Okay, okay, no, it's... It's more like I won't swim. Gets my fur all fluffed up. You ever heard of a uh, fluffy ball? Uh, well actually... Nah. No, really, I've... No such thing. Just search on your phone. Doesn't work. Fluffy bulls, non-existent. Do they want us to Google fluffy bull? I'm scared I'm gonna regret this, all right. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, let's go to, I guess, images. Uh, 
Um, apparently, cows in Iowa are fluffy. Fluffy? They call them fluffy cows. So, I mean, they just look like yaks. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's a thing. I don't know if they were trying to teach us something or bait us into Googling something potentially bad, but they exist. Oh well, guess I'll never impress that sheep over there. They've been giving me a weird look all day. We'll never be friends at this rate. You could just talk to them? Absolutely not. I have to impress them first with a huge cannonball. But then I'll get all fluffed and then they... Okay, fine, hold on. Cannonball? Oh, that stare. <laughs> that stare. Wait, so... <laughs> do they mean cannonball in the sense of diving, or do they mean cannonball, like, shoot a cannonball at those pirate ships over there? Hmm. Okay, hang on. Oh no, that's ragdoll. Don't wanna... Wait, what if I have to ragdoll in there? Okay, hang on. Up. Ragdoll! That didn't work. Alright, let's try... I mean... Wait. That's not what I wanted. What? What? I press left button. Okay, and then that's right button. There we am, am I losing it here? Okay. Oh, it flips it. That is... Why? Okay, you, th that's the setup I want. It's just being weird. There you go, cannonball. That's a literal cannonball. Alright, fine, let's see. What's the deal with that bull just standing there? He gonna jump in or what? Oh, he's just a little, uh... He doesn't want to get all fluffy. He thinks fluffy bulls don't exist. What? Fluffy bulls are definitely a thing. Yeah, I tried to tell him, but he wouldn't listen at all. Fluffy bulls are great. He's crazy. In my book, the fluffier the better. Can we just push him in? No. Hmm. The only thing I can think to do is, like, just go from a high height. Can't swim. I get fluffy. Look, dude, for one, fluffy balls are a thing. Nope. For two, that sheep, they're totally into fluffy balls. What? Really? Yep. Okay, never mind. <laughs> now I'm fluffy, fluffy as can be. No one can take their eyes off me. Love the water. Weirdo. That was like some expert level gaslighting. Just, just like, no, no, they don't exist. Don't worry about your internet. Finally, my ideal person, a perfect sphere. I must befriend him. <laughs> yeah, you ever meet someone that was just so perfectly round that you just had to go talk to them?
I think this junk for trash is a, is a myth. <laughs> it's just... I would have run into it by now, and it's not like the sign is helping me. The sign points in either direction. Huh. What did you do? You broke the ball! Yep, I saved you from the scary monsters, right? Huh? No, I put hard work into those! You just ran in there and destroyed them! Oh, oops. <laughs> you picked up all the materials, right? Give them back and we'll call it even. How much was that? Uh, probably 80. Yeah. Yep, that's what I remember. Actually, you know what? You're not so bad. Hmm. You need some of this too, right? Well, here, you can have some back. Don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, Gammy. Maybe someone else will appreciate my art. I do like the commentary that it makes on, like, just in Zelda games, Link just attacking first without thinking. And destroying property. <laughs> oh, hello. Chess game. You playing chess by yourself? Ah, a traveler, I see you are not familiar with the musings of a master a strategist. Strategist. <laughs> strategist? Strategist? I'm hard at work developing new tactics to best my opponents. Oh, okay, how's it going? To be honest, I'm not having much luck. Chess is an ancient, widespread game. It's hard to come up with a brand new strategy. Maybe I could help. As a master strategist, strategize, I doubt you could do anything that would surprise me. But if you'd like to try, go ahead and make your move. <laughs> so reckless, so brutal. I never saw it coming and now my king is in the mud. It's genius. It's exactly the surprising new approach I was looking for. How did you concoct such a bold strategy? Just part of the being the legendary hero, I guess. I had no idea I was playing with a hero. Please accept this in exchange for your wisdom. That was great. <laughs> That's like the, nah, I'm taking my ball home approach. This game's great. <laughs> Stuff like this that I, I do enjoy, enjoy checking out just because it's just... Sometimes a game doesn't have to be something that has objectives. I mean, this this kind of has objectives, but like, there's no overarching story really. It's just, you experience it and, I mean, yeah. I think it's great. Plus, you know, it's relaxing, it's lighthearted. And it is getting a laugh out of me. But I know a bunch of people that would be like, how is this even a game? And then they go back to playing like Call of Duty or something. I don't know. Let's play whatever you enjoy and forget about the fact whether or not it's a game. It's just... I think conceptually, as long as you're having fun or enjoying or like get immersed in whatever story or world the game is building, it doesn't matter. Litter. I can't believe people just throw stuff everywhere. I know. We can rinse this off and recycle it for the game. I'm gonna clean up the environment. After I wash my hands. Yuck. 
Um, is this going to go for uh, junk for trash? The pipe seemed a lot taller back then. You know, it's kind of got like a... What's the name of that song? The really old song. Cats in the Cradle. It's that vibe. That's that story. Don't have time to play anymore. There it is! Of course, of course. I knew it. It just had to be... Had to be you. You look like a kid that gets their hand dirty, am I right? Eh. I've seen you scurrying around, grabbing things off the ground. You know what I see in you? Potential. I happen to be a connoisseur of fine junk. Such as these specimens you see before you. You wouldn't happen to want them, would you? Eh, uh, probably. Yeah, I knew it the moment I laid my, laid my eyes on you. You're a trash fiend just like me. But I don't hand these out just to anyone. You gotta be committed to the cause. People have a nasty habit of leaving their trash lying around. Yeah, gross, there's a trash can like right there. It's a travesty, but for you, it's also an opportunity. Cause you're gonna pick it up. Let's say 10 pieces of litter. Don't care what you do with it. Just go get your hands dirty. Do that for me and we can talk business. Okay, I already have three, so. Um, five, I think, or six. Seven, let's just assume seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh yeah, I had it right, but I'll still pick up more. I'm going to go above and beyond. I'm just going to walk around the whole perimeter and get whatever I can get. I don't see any more. Oh wait, there's more here. He says, hey, there's a trash can over there. Like, I bet he's responsible for this. I bet he's low-key responsible for this. Is the trash respawning? Doesn't look like it. I can't... Okay, anyway. Kid, I haven't seen trash pick up like that since I was in diapers, and my dear mother was changing them. You have my heartfelt respect, and my doors are open to you. Thanks, uh, can I have one of these? You may have misunderstood, compadre. My shop is open, but I still have to make a living. Ah, uh, what? I still gotta buy it. Afraid so, but I'll sweeten the deal with some exclusive insider information. An extra charge. Free, yes. Let's hear it. If you're aching for trash, take a dive in a trash can. What? You root around in trash cans? That's disgusting. They're a one-stop shop for the strong of constitution, provided people have the decency to use them. If you're squeamish, just knock them over. Boom. Now it's litter. Your specialty. Ugh, I don't know. Suit yourself, not my business where you get trash as long as you can pay. And when you are ready to pay, my wares are ready to browse. Okay. Yeah. So what'll it be? Trash pick and stick, ancient gong, disassemble Eliza. Trash pick and stick. Heh, <laughs> I remember my first trash pick and stick. Those were the days. You may be good at grabbing the garbage, but this, this will make you great. Ancient Gong. Ranged Hue Applicator. Made that one myself. It's, uh, junked. Squirt gun loaded with chemi- I mean, non-toxic paints. Ever wanted to paint an impromptu mural from 30 yards away? Okay. Uh, mini trampoline? I won't lie, this thing's seen better days, but it's still got some bounce to it. Use it to get over junkyard fences, into dumpsters, the occasional window. 
Anyway, it's yours now. Hope it serves you well. Annoying stick thingy. <laughs> I found a hundred of those things in a dumpster behind the defunct Rickorat. That's the only one that's still sticky. A real slice, or a real relic of the past. Why'd I say slice? Can't imagine what good it'll do. But if anyone can figure it out, I know it's you, kid. I'm buying everything. This one got stuck to my hand while I was fleeing the ancient temple of Alleyway. Alleyway! Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. I see what they did there. I wouldn't advise taking it downtown unless you want to meet the old hag who wants it back. So what'll it be? Be proud of that purchase, kid. That's a bona fide disassemblizer in mint condition. Hear that? Mint condition. As in, never used. You tell that to anyone who asks about it. Well, kid, that's it. You've exhausted my supply. I have nothing more to teach you. Seems it's time for me to move on. Maybe even leave this whole junk trading game behind me. What are you going to do with all that trash, then? If I told you that, I'd have to, uh, <laughs> never mind. Let's just say it's my little secret. See you around, Trash King. What a cute game. It, it is adorable. been having a lot of fun with it so far. I was just telling a little short story. And it's just taking Zelda mechanics and cracking the joke of like, why can't the new Zelda game be out already? But hey, Laura. <laughs> How's it going? Wait, why am I ragdolling it? Oh! This is not a ragdoll. This is like... Is this meant to be like a hookshot replacement? Hang on. I do have a bunch of new items. Oh, this is like a hookshot replacement. But it doesn't really... <laughs> doesn't really work. Yeah, no. Okay. Hang on. Uh, go that. What about this? Oh my god. Okay, this, if this is not a Splatoon reference, I don't know what is. Okay, uh, what else have we got? I mean, the rest were just- that was just... Popular with fish, but great for gators too. The quicker way to pick up jumps of scraps. Used for making art and destroying it. A paintbrush. A chessboard. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, that was funny. Trampoline. Uh, let me swap back to... where is it? Okay, that's what we want. We want bubble. We want that. Okay. Is this where I was... oh no, this, this is the cool kids at the park. Okay, hang on. I think. Hey, Martin. Hey, Martin's friends. Looking cool. Every day of the week, my dude. Ah! Ah, right back at ya. You know this kid, Martin? Yeah, don't worry about Lucas. We're tight. So tight. That's why we need you at the playground, Martin. The game is back on. Can't. Me and the crew are looking cool. Busy, but you're just standing there. Standing here doing nothing is why kids like you roll up and rave about how cool we are. What? Come on, that doesn't actually work. You sure about that? Let's get a smash cut to 30 seconds ago. Hey Martin, hey Martin's friends, looking cool. Boom. Uh, it's a full-time job, gotta respect the hustle. But the splash pad isn't even turned on this time of year. Uh, yeah, that's how we like it. Playing in the water is for little kids. Right, guys? 
Uh, yeah. Getting wet and everything. So cringe. Quack. That's what I'm saying. What? No, it's fun. You guys don't like fun? Uh, it's easier to keep it cool without jets of water everywhere, ironically. Hmm. So you're too cool to have fun, and the water being on you on would make you lose your cool? Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, I'm off to do nothing. Haha, <laughs> bye. Hey, Martin, your friend is kind of weird. Yep, that's my weirdo. This must be the water main. I'll just turn it on a little bit and they'll be having fun in no time. <laughs> okay, here we go. A little turn. <laughs> Dang, this thing is rusty. Okay. Just one big tug to get it open. One, two, three. Ah! Whoa, that's so sick. I mean, ah! It's, this is the worst. Eh. Ah. Uh. This water is cool, actually. Let's forget that other stuff and, like, have fun. Huh? Who said that? Let's, li let's all listen to him. Link, come on, dude. I'm coming over to turn that thing off. No, not until you admit you're having fun. Fine. If you won't let up, we'll cut you off at the source. Quick, guys. Go turn off the other pumps. I'll keep an eye on Link. You got it, Martin. Other pumps? There are three other tanks that pump water into this one. If they all get cut off... What gives, Martin? You love water parks. We went to Ocean World together last summer. Yeah, I know. I'd love to leave the water on. What? Why didn't you say that when they were here? You know, because it's not cool and these guys are. You can't just say stuff. I just say stuff all the time. I'll show them how cool having fun is. All right, Hotshot, how about a deal? If you convince all the others to turn their pumps back on, I'll walk away and you do whatever you want. Deal. I know they'll agree eventually. The fun speaks for itself. That's a lot of confidence considering you just drenched them all, but good luck. This is perfect. Together, Martin's pals are invincible, but alone, I'm sure I can find a way to break their cold. This is a great plan, quest start. There's a casino here in Melbourne that has, like, uh, fountains like this. I mean, it doesn't look like this, but it's kind of rectangular, and, yeah, in summer, kids just run through them. Just what it reminds me of. I don't know if they still turn them on. I think it's one of those things that inevitably someone did get hurt and they don't do it anymore, but... I mean, back when I was, like, a teenager, I, like, my younger brothers used to mess around <laughs> in them. And when it's hot outside, you know, it is nice. This was the quietest spot on the island. Oh, there's that mouse that just... <laughs> bad at giving hints. Okay. I gotta find these pumps. I haven't seen them. Oh, cool. That's how I know if I've done them. I've already done your quest. I should try and find a spot up high and I'll be able to see. I'm also low on scraps, so I need to... Do they... Yeah, okay, they're magnet no matter what. That's cool. <laughs> I don't think I can reach. Hang on. Maybe up this way. Okay. 
I just want a vantage point so I can see. Alright, pumps. Let's see. I see... I think there's one straight ahead. Unfortunately, it's kind of doing like this fog thing, so it, it is hard to see it. I'll glide. I'll... <sighs> when in doubt, just glide around. Oh, I think this is one. Is there another? I think it's all straightforward. It kind of goes up a hill. Okay, first one. There's Jada. She's not guarding the pump at all. Should I try and sneak over and turn it on? What you got there? A tree sprouted on the water. Made it all the way to the surface. That's a tree? Yep, a magnolia, I think. But she's drooping now. If I stop propping her up, she'll drown. Oh no, do you uh, need any help? I could use a twig and some grass clippings. Oh, sure. I'll grab you some. Okay, I'll save this little tree, then turn on the pump. Easy peasy. This should be enough grass for whatever Jada is up to. And then a stick. Here you go. What are they for? Watch. Awesome. Now it'll be okay, right? Maybe. What? No, maybe. Why only maybe? This puddle's stagnant. Water's shallow and stationary, so it gets dirty. I'll go get some fresh water. Oh, uh, okay. I'll stay here and make sure no one tramples her. Here, take this. I got a bucket. This will hold a ton of water. Anywhere deep enough to swim should be fine. Okay. The ocean. But then that... Well, I guess this isn't an ocean. <laughs> like, maybe it's still a, la a large lake. I don't know. Get some fresh water. Great. Pour it on nice and gentle. Wow, it looks so much healthier. Hmm, just needed a little support. Almost good to leave her on her own. What do we do next? I don't know. Huh, what do you mean? Is it going to be okay? What does it need? Sunlight. Magnolias need a lot of it, but this one's sprouted in the shade. Her roots are tangled in the rocks. Won't survive if we move her. Not much we can do. But, but, there has to be something. Hope so. Let me know if you figure it out. Get rid of whatever's blocking the sunlight. Oh. Ha! <laughs> Dumb sign! Blocking out the sun, I have to break it. This is an emergency. For the trees. That confusing sign that swindled me into, like, going in the wrong direction twice. I guess that's why it's, it's wrong. I didn't even think to break the sign. That was metal. You're pretty cool, Link. Wanton destruction hasn't failed me yet. Huh. I'm sure Magnolia appreciates it. In fact, I bet she'd like you to have this. Wow, a whole leaf? Is she sure? Sure, pruning is normal for a strong plant like her. You know, how I said Magnolias need sunlight? Mm-hmm. They usually need well-drained soil too, not too soggy. This one landed here. Under three inches of water beside a shady cliff surrounded by rocks and weeds. And she sprouted right away. Wow, hardcore. Yeah, she's gonna be fine. Hey, Link. You know how plants need water to grow? Ah, uh, duh. I'm thinking maybe our little gang does too. See ya. Huh, what does that mean? Oh, the pump. I totally forgot. Let's get this thing turned on. <laughs> That grew incredibly quick. Wait, so is this a shield? It's a shield, okay. 
It's a shield. It's a leaf shield. I mean, I think it's all in a straight line. Like, you just follow the pump. So this is the base. And then we just go up and we'll find the others. I also have a bucket on my head. Oh, hello. Is that up? The shark? What? Traveler, I, I seem to have misplaced an important item. It's sort of spiky uh, and transparent and weird looking. Uh, I just taken a breather, or as you would say, a swim, when I notice it's absent. Please find it for me, it's very important. Okay, well I haven't seen anything like it yet. Follow the pipes. Okay, here's one. Wait, right, this is the main one, so where's the other one? Or is it further down? I'm getting to high ground again. <sighs> ah, too tall. Okay, hold on. Maybe it's not. Uh, I don't think I have enough stamina to make it. Oh, no. Maybe I'm... Is this dangerous? No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> I mean... the other ones are. Okay, there's more, more pipes over here. Have I talked to you before? Oh, hello, new friend. You want to be friends already? Well, I'd love to be your friend and join the game. Great, let's do it then. Now, now, it can't be that easy. I, it needs a quest. Hmm, let's see. Oops, I dropped my favorite oversized pencil. Quest time, pick that up, please. Uh, okay, that works. It's an oversized pencil. I think someone dropped this. My oversized pencil, thank you so much. Yeah, quest complete. Time to join the town, right? Of course, now to just... Oops, again, Butterfingers. <laughs> uh, could you be a deer and go pick that up? Please. Uh, sure, okay. Oh no. The besides pencil seems really hard to hold on to it for some reason. He's just gonna keep doing it over and over again, isn't he? Ah, my oversized pencil, you've retrieved it for me again. Yeah, maybe hold on to it better this time. Hi, right, for sure, for sure. I'll keep a tight grip on. Oops, there it goes again. Oh, I'm so sorry. Could you grab that one more time? Please? Ah, fine. Ah, blah, 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 blah. it's pencil, whatever. <laughs> Here's your pencil. Don't drop it again. Oh, I wouldn't dare, you know that. You trust me, right? Uh-oh, my hand is... No! Uh-oh, here it goes! I'm not picking it up again. Oh, it's really gonna go far this time. Don't do it. <laughs> okay, fine, you got me. You win. Quest complete, new friend gained. 
Oh. For really big ideas, I can't craft it. I'll have to change that. Oh, there's there's a pump over there. I can see it. There's also a bunch to do here, hang on. Hey, good buddy. I love your style. You've got a great balance about you. You a sidewalk surfer? A what? Haha, <laughs> I'm asking if you skate. Oh, kinda. I'm pretty good at sliding around on my shield. Far out, far out. I was just setting up my own little park to shred if you want to stick around. There's this burly tech I've been trying to nail, but it's giving me so much grief. Basically, it boils down to knocking out five skeletons as stylishly as possible. Um, what does knocking out skeletons mean? Haha, <laughs> that's not slang. I borrowed some targets to help me practice. There are some kids running around making a bunch of wicked monster drawings. Days are for a game my friends and I are playing at the playground. You should come. Oh, intriguing. Could see myself chillaxing at the playground. Uh, not until I nail this trick. Maybe you want to show me how it's done? I could try. Haha, <laughs> my skater. The starting point is at the top of this grade. Knock out five skeletons without biffing it, and I'll consider a change of scenery. See, people say far out. <laughs> okay, uh, without biffing it, huh? What? What, what direction? What? I need one more. I need one more. Where's the starting point? Set up here somewhere. Watching carefully. Okay. You know, we're getting this this time without failure. Where's this lost skeleton? Dude, you aced it. That was mad steezy, my friend. I pegged you as another green grommet, but you're a full gr the blown thrasher. I have no idea what you just said. Ha, ah, no worries, my friend. Basically, great job, and I'll see you at the playground. I got a skateboard. Is it a crafting one? Yeah, it's a crafting one. Okay. I've been playing this for two hours. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it. No, no, I don't I don't want to do it again. Stop it. Hello, Lucas. Hi. Don't mind me, just thought I'd go for a casual stroll. A casual stroll to a remote island? Oh, you're right, this is really out of the way. Haha, <laughs> I didn't even really notice. <laughs> I 
anyway, uh, it'd be great if you would let me turn that pump back on. N nope. I'm not into it. My friends aren't into it. It's not happening. They are, though. Everyone's totally into it because, um, dang, are they? Martin said he'd love it, but the others didn't say one way or the other. Did, did Martin really say that? Oh, yeah, totally. I can never tell what he's thinking. Was he joking when he said to turn the pumps off? Is he really going to think I'm a jerk for actually doing it? Whoa, 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 slow down for a second. What's going on? I just can't stop acting weird around Martin. When I try to talk, I can feel all the words jumbling around in my head. It's like how people act in movies and stuff, but those are just movies, right? No one really acts like that. Yeah, I, I think so. I've never felt like that either. But talking to Martin is easy. He always just says what he's thinking. Yeah, I know, he's so confident. How do you keep your cool so easily? You think maybe... Could you give me some advice? What kind of stuff do you say to him? Hmm, advice you say? Hmm, interesting. Perhaps I could be persuaded to offer the advice you seek. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you help me out, the pump is all yours. Haha, <laughs> excellent. Wait, right here I have the perfect plan. This feels... Awkward? I was gonna say invasive. It's fine. A movie problem needs a movie solution. You be Martin, and I'll be you and say all the things you're supposed to say. Uh, okay. Wow. It sure is a nice day to be me, Martin. I'm just relaxing here, on this island, minding my own business. Let's see, uh, what's a good opener? now? Your mane is radiant. Wanna see a cool scab? Let's watch Power Fighters on DVD. Gosh, Martin, your mane is shining in the sun. It's so radiant. What? <laughs> does, does it have to be something so personal? Everybody likes a compliment. Now you say something nice back. Uh, thanks, dude. You also look cool too, as, as well. Thanks, bro. I've been using soap. And speaking of that... Do plants make the sun mad? Let's watch Power Fighters on TV. I'm a down-to-earth country boy. What is- what is this? Uh, obviously, the- like, it, it would have to be the last answer, because it keeps coming up, but... Do you think the sun gets upset? that plant eats sunlight? I'd be mad if something ate me. Are you asking me or Martin? Martin, we have debates like this all the time. Oh, well, I guess they don't actually eat the sun itself, just the light. Like those harmless little bugs that eat dander. Oh, whoa. So you're saying we're like basking in the sun's dead skin right now? Oh my God, can we please talk about something else? All right, if you want to skip ahead, I'd say something like, by the way, we're all basking in the sun's dead skin. <laughs> that's quite the, uh, that's quite the line. That's like the time I said, if the, if the sun farted, we'd all, we'd all die. It's very similar. Anyway, let's watch Falfi, eh, this. Martin, there's nothing I want to do with you more now, in the entire world right now, than to watch Power Fighters on DVD. I'm beginning to think you aren't taking this seriously. Coming up with stuff to say is hard. Work with me here. Hey guys, working on something? Ah, Martin. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, uh, you know, just thought I'd go for a casual stroll. A casual stroll to a remote island? Uh, yeah, well, uh... Hey, cool drawing, Lucas. Is that supposed to be me? Hey, <laughs> you think so? It's a portrait for you. Too cool. You really captured my essence. Thanks, man. Psst. Go, go, go. Say the thing. Uh... Something you want to say? Uh, there, there was, but um, I totally forgot. You know how it is. Funny you should say that. I was thinking we could hang out later, just the two of us. Maybe that'll help you remember. 
Why wait? I'm game now. Cool. Let's roll. Cool. Later, Link. Wait, did they just resolve their problem without me? That can't be right. No, no, they resolved it because I inserted myself and pestered them about it. Yes, that sounds right. Good job, me. Quest complete. Now to get this pump started. <laughs> uh, can I? Yep. Might as well take this with me. Now I'll always be. I'll always have Martin by my side. Oh, it's like <laughs> I can use that as a as a shield. <laughs> uh, was that I, I feel like there was one more thing I saw here I already helped them out let's go to find the last pump my promise is I must defeat the evil at any cost I'll try not to set anything on fire I wonder where this last pump could be. <laughs> Wait, no, not 10%, I said 20%. Okay, what are they arguing about? There's something over there. Oh. Everything has to be perfect. Hi. You want to play? Ahem, <laughs> that's no way to address a princess. Oh, sorry. Hello, your majesty. It is I, the green hero. Want to play? That's better. But I'm too busy to play. I'm setting tea for an important guest. Everything needs to be perfect by the time her diplomatic meeting is finished. I can help. Helping Princess is my heroic duty, Princess says, says. Good. It's about time someone useful showed up. This ugly grey and brown clutter is blocking my pretty pink decorations. Clean this place up, but don't touch anything that's pink. Can do, Princess. Okay. That's looking much better. Is that it? I think that's it. All done. Now we just have to wait for the guest of honor to arrive. That's her over there, right? I'll let her know it's ready. No, we can't. No one is allowed to bother her while she's on the phone. How long has she been on the phone? Ah, uh, it feels like forever. But if you interrupt her, you'll get in big trouble. We just have to be patient. Hmm. Just gonna ram. You done yet? 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 <laughs> right, I'll stop. Excuse me. Hang on, Jones. Hey, Sprout, I really can't talk right now. Adults on the phone are very busy. Sorry to interrupt, I just wanted you to know there's a tea party waiting for you. You mean my daughter's tea little party? No, she just started setting up. And I've only been on the for phone for... Whoa, boy, that long I really let time get away from me. Hey, Jones, I'm at the park with my daughter. Let's pick this up another time. Yep, uh, uh-huh. All right. Bye. Thanks for the update, Tyke. I owe you one. It's 
So you bothered my mom even though I warned you not to? Ah, thanks. I get scared to talk to her sometimes, even though I know that- uh, Never mind. I guess we have time to play now. See you at the playground. Mmm, best tea party snacks I've ever had. You weren't waiting for me too long, were you, sweetie? <laughs> Oops, I mean, thank you so, so much for the invite, princess. <laughs> I, won't, I won't destroy it. I'll leave them be. But part of me just wants to just go on a rampage now. I now have a princess wand. This is more in the woods now. Uh. Ah! Hey man, what gives? It took me forever to find that spot. Sorry, I didn't know anyone was in there. Yeah, I was just grabbing a nap. There's supposed to be some big game soon. That's happening right now at the playground. Ah, jeez. I needed a wake-up call after all. You won't be needing all this extra bedding anymore. Here you go. See you at the playground. I'm so uh, excited. I still don't know what this last thing is. I mean, I'll find it eventually. Oh, hey, you're the hero kid, right? That's me. Bad news, I have a flash of inspiration and created the greatest obstacle course ever made. That doesn't sound like bad news at all. Problem is, I kind of took it too far. Once you fire it up, the monsters show up in really precarious spots. It's like insanely sketchy. There is no challenge too great for the green hero. I'll give it a try. Nope, sorry. It's too hard. Well, at least let me try it. Can't. It's impossible. I can do it. No way. Watch me. Oh, this is all time uh, based. I was trying to go high ground, low ground, but we'll see. I may have messed up. Oh no! I don't know where the last one is, but I've ruined it. Where is it? Well, that sucked. <laughs> there was one more. I don't know where it was. Okay, same strategies. Go high ground, low ground. I'll look properly this time. I think this is the one that I missed. Oh, dang, you did it. Ha! Told you, the green hero triumphs over impossible odds. You sure showed me. Gravity has nothing on the green hero. But next time, you should probably wear, like, a helmet or something. I don't need a... Actually, that's probably a good idea. I mean, doesn't the bucket count as a helmet? For 
protects the head. <laughs> Somewhat. Maybe I should just go home. Hi, I'm doing a big game at the playground, and uh, uh, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just don't really want to talk or move or think right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. There are some other kids across the lake. They might want to play with you. I'm not in the mood to play. Okay, well. This is boat stuck. That's no good. That rotten. What do you want? Well, I was just going to ask if you wanted to play. Sorry, sorry I'm mad at someone else. We were supposed to do this together, but uh, never mind. You want to join our ninja village? I was going to ask you to join my village. An alliance between villages then. I will accept, but only if you prove yourself capable and loyal to our cause. By stepping on that sigil, Wait, stepping on that sigil will summon five members of the Shadow Clan, our mortal enemies. Find and defeat all of them as fast as you can, and I will judge if you are a worthy ally. Okay. Oh. What's the radius on this? Probably not far. Oh, there's another one. Where's the last one? Kind of just swinging and hoping. I don't see it. What? Oh no, this is different. It's not the same thing. Hang on. Try again. Oh, I see it. Okay. One more somewhere here. Oh, there we go. Incredible! Well done. You have proven your loyalty and aptitude. They'll never know what hit him. Please accept this gift in honor of our new alliance. There's one more thing if you're up for it. Now that I know you can, I can trust you, I have a favor to ask. I should do anything for the strength of the alliance. I need to put a hit on someone. <laughs> what? A hit? Like, you want me to get rid of him? What? No. Is that what that means? No, I just want you to hit him. Like, on the leg, maybe? Oh, I'm a... Okay. I know you usually hit monsters, but a monster is just what he is. The things he said are un so unspeakable, he was banished from the clan. What did he say? I told you, it's unspeakable. 
I bet he's still skulking around the... Uh, I bet he's just skulking around just on the other side of this lake. Take this and remind him that he's never welcome back here. I got the nunchucks. I guess I'm supposed to hit somebody with them. Hey, um, you have a lot of paper. Yeah, I'm collecting it for a game we're playing. Can I have some? How much do you want? Um, a few sheets, I guess? I don't know how many that is. How much would you need in, let's say, very small, torn up pieces? I don't know. How about 500? 500? Sure. Can I have 500 paper? Thanks. Here. Whoa, I've got some folded paper stars. I bet I can really throw these far. Hope you like them. Thanks again. Thank you, too. Okay. I mean, they wouldn't just take them for no reason. <laughs> Ow. I guess the chief sent you to hit me. Yep. Good. Now I can just be done with it. That game wasn't fun anymore. I'm not feeling so good about this anymore. It's fine. They don't want me back and now I'm out of the way forever. Can't we just talk to the chief and let you come back? You never let me back after what I said. What did you say? I don't even want to talk about it and he doesn't want to talk to me either. Maybe not, but I'm an ally of the ninja village. I'm sure he'll listen to me. Come on, let's give it a try. Okay. If you lead the way, I'll talk to him. We're back. We? You brought that traitor with you? You seem pretty upset about being banished. Can't you guys just talk it out? I'm not listening to a thing he says. Unless he's going to say, Sorry, Romeo. I got heated and I said some things I didn't mean. Season 3 still isn't my favorite, but I shouldn't have said those unspeakable things about it. Huh? Well, okay, I know season 3 isn't everyone's taste. At least we can agree that season 2 is superior to season 1. Totally. The fights in that one were the best. You guys were just arguing about a TV show the whole time? Um, we're talking about Buckle My Black Belt, the greatest show of all time. You haven't seen it? It's the best. There's this part where the ninja clan faces a dragon. And the part where they split up in the ice maze. And when they go to the mall. Okay, I'm glad you can talk about it together again. Me too. You may not have done the job I expected, but I think you've earned this anyway. Okay. We can be Naruto now. <laughs> once, I, once I can craft it. Done that, but we'll, we'll go to the bottom of the hill anyway. I beat my record. This is a... Ooh, this one's really far away. No! Ah, oh, I just missed it. Alright, go back. I don't know how long this game is. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to be that long, but you know. I do want to get to Stardew. Just saying. It's not... Not that I'm not having a good time, this is great, but you know. I've got stuff I want to do in it. right next to the whale.
Oh, cool. I might be able to shoot as I'm in the air. It's a shame it doesn't do like the super slow motion thing. Ah. Oh. Ha. Yes. Oh no. <laughs> Damn it. I thought I was being clever. I mean, whatever. It's still impressive that I did that. It's just... I accidentally shot the balloon that I was on. Okay, let me just continue doing this. Crap. so easy to lose it. I should have restarted. I don't know how I did it last time where I just kept kept the momentum up. Like, look at me now! <laughs> I'm, I'm doing it! Not when it matters. Oh, oh, oh. Got it. Good day, Traveler. Traveler, hello. I heard there's a gator on a quest, and I'm here to help. That's great, uh, hail and well to meet you, friend. You look lost. Have you not journeyed to our land before? I could give you some directions if you like. Directions, please. Stay the path through this ravine and you'll arrive at the playground. It's by the radio tower, right at the center of the whole island. If you keep going straight through, you'll reach the treacherous creek lands. If you head across the lake, you'll find yourself scaling the chilly mountains. If you pass the old swing set, you're headed for the dense and spooky forest. You'll find all of the park amenities nearby. Something really tall. If you get lost, try headed for the tallest spot you can find nearby. That's all really helpful, thanks. Yeah, unlike the other ones. <laughs> I just said, yes, there's stuff nearby. Okay, uh... Okay, there we go. It's a skipping rope, I just realized. I was right there and she didn't see me, haha. <laughs> They're storming the falls! Thank goodness help has arrived. A bunch of icky slimes are trying to climb up the waterfall. The big tree is just up the stream. We'll have to hold them off or they'll go it all up. Christ, I like my trees goo free. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get these goobers gone. Take out as many as you can. I'll cover your flank. Oh, I see. Oh, there's more down there. <laughs> Victory is ours! That was amazing! You must be the hero of legend. I am. What gave you it away? Oh, Tom told me to look out for a fidgety alligator. And that would be the hero. 
Um, I mean, it was your skills with a sword, of course. No ordinary soldier could have done that alone. Eh, <laughs> we should celebrate our victory back at the playground. Um... Four hundred. I don't have enough to craft it. I still haven't crafted the pencil, so... I mean, going for looks here. Yeah. I have made 30 friends. Alright, um... I mean, I'm gonna head back a little bit. Oh! <laughs> I just realized I'm doing the Naruto run. Naruto! Look. <laughs> I, I've never seen an episode of Naruto in my life, just for clarity. It's like in the office where they do parkour. I don't know. That's what I imagine an episode of it is like. Naruto is good. Yeah, I mean, I grew up on Dragon Ball, so... Between the two, that's what I watched. Are you guys eating lunch? It looks really good. I guess. I don't really like mine. Um, me either. Maybe we could give it to someone else? But I'm hungry. You should definitely eat something. Nutrition is, is important. But, if you're going to give it away, maybe we can give it to each other? Oh, like a trade. That sounds perfect. Who wants mine? Oops. Um, never fear, folks. The green hero shall solve this lunchtime puzzle. I'll talk to each of you and figure out which lunch would be best for each person. Oh, cool. Thank you. Probably not as good if you were to watch any of those nowadays. Uh, I mean, generally speaking with those, if they have a lot of filler, like Dragon Ball was definitely guilty of that, right? Um, fans come up with like a a list of episodes you can skip, and that's probably the way to watch it and not watch everything. Or in the case of Dragon Ball, they uh, they did Kai, where it cut out a lot of the filler. So, yeah, I mean, if I'm curious, I'll watch it one day. My brother has been trying to convince me to watch One Piece. <laughs> I mean, he was right about Jojo, like, the longest amount of time said you should watch Jojo. And I quite enjoyed it, so I don't know. Maybe. I like salty food, but I only want a small snack. Chips. Yeah, those look good. I want a lot of food, please. I'm really hungry. Lasagna. I want to eat this whole dish. I'd like something light and healthy, please. Apples. Apple slices sound great. I'd love that. I'm stuffed. I feel healthy and strong. I got just what I wanted. Thank you, Green Hero. Happy to help. We should do something at the playground now. Yeah, good idea. See you there. How's it going anyway, Nick? <laughs> now that I'm done reading this. I keep forgetting to, that I have this, and this is probably the way, instead of what I was doing. Pretty good, your PS5 arrived yesterday. Nice. You got anything particular you're gonna play on it? Oh, hello. Come on, fly, please, fly. Are you talking to a fly? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't think anyone could hear me. I'm trying to get a good photo of that bird in that tree. How come? Um, well, there's this study group from a fancy prep school in the park today. I hope if I share my bird studies with them, they'll let me join them. But if I don't have any good pictures, the bird I'm watching hasn't moved in hours. Maybe if you throw something up there, it'll get spooked off and fly away. Oh, no, 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 I wouldn't want to risk hurting it. But I guess if someone climbed up this tree to scare it off, that would be okay. The new God of War came with it. 
and you ordered Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel, so you're planning to play those. Nice. Yeah, I picked up uh, Ragnarok as well, because I found it for a fair price and not what it costs on release. So I'll be checking that out myself soon. I didn't really play Nitro R Racing. I should do a playthrough of it, but I know that's a game that'll make me salty. <laughs> Just... That game can get very heated. Particularly Adventure Mode, man. You know I played it, not sure if I finished it. Oh no, I did like a, a couple of streams of it, just when it initially came out, but didn't really go too far into it. Like, nothing proper. Definitely don't do hard difficulty if I want to enjoy the casual, t casual, the game casually. Yeah, no, no. It's uh, yeah, it can be very annoying. I do remember as a kid, like getting all the stuff for it, but I know I definitely know that it was something that took a long time. Like, it was not easy. Got it. Like, particularly the time trial stuff. I remember that taking a long time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I got the perfect photo. Okay, okay. I can do this. I'm gonna show this to the Paragons. Here's something for you. Taking nature photos sounds like fun. I wish my phone camera wasn't so old and low res. Hmm, I wonder. Oh, yeah, well. Last one down does the dishes tonight. I need to find that last pump. Yeah, enjoy the PS5. I mean, I've used it a lot. Just for being able to play more PS4 games. There's not that many PS5 exclusives, but like... As a PS4 playing machine, it is quite excellent. I tried to get Pizza Tower on PS5, but it just didn't release yet. But, uh, I was fine playing it on Steam. By the way, if you haven't seen Pizza Tower, it's an excellent platformer. You'll be getting the PS Premium thing to get all the PS1 and PS2 and PS3 games. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I, I have it, but it's not, it's not available. All of it. Like, I think because some of it goes through cloud streaming, it's not available in Australia, so it's like this weird thing. But, I mean, yeah, the PS1 games are there, and PS2. You watched yesterday for a bit, it looked really strange. I mean, it's basically like a cross between Wario, um, Sonic the Hedgehog, and to some extent like Metroid, with the powers, and some of the movesets. And, I mean, it, the game definitely has speedrunning in mind. I can definitely see people speedrunning that game. But it was a lot of, a lot of fun. Junk for trash. Hi, Jill, what's up? 
Great timing, Scales. I want you to meet my friends from St. Hogarth. St. Hogarth? That's the prep school you're studying for, right? The very same. Hi, I'm Suzanne, fearless leader of the Paragons of St. Hog Hogarth. This is June and Anton. We're a small but motivated study group looking for new members. Speaking of Jill, maybe you would, you and your friend would like to join us for some independent projects? Oh, um, I don't know if that would uh, appeal to Link's interests necessarily. What's independent projects? Some kind of game? I, I can play. It's exactly like a game. We individually conduct research studies, then unite to share our findings. I'm scouring the forest for evidence of pale Paleolithic tool usage. I'm researching all bartering methods and the establishment of uniform currency. I catalog beetles. Those don't sound like games at all. Sounds like you invented schoolwork to do, alone. Pretty much. Assigned full reading is no challenge at all for the Paragons. Invention is the only path to enrichment. Plus it's fun. And extra credit. But all this work and our break is only so long. Right you are, Link. We're wasting valuable daylight. Time to move out and get started. Paragons. Perambulate? Perambulate? We're working on the catchphrase. Jeez, what a drag. Sunny day in the park and they're going to waste it on imaginary work. Yeah, they're cracking down hard, huh? Probably because they don't have a super cool friend with a super fun game in progress. Ready to head to the playground? Scales. I want to help you win your sister over, really, but if St. Hogarth is this competitive, I need to step up my game. I need to come up with an independent project, first of all, and I'm not even sure where to start. But, but, it's fall break. There's time for a million projects later. We should be having fun. Sorry, Link. I guess I have to choose adult stuff this time. <sighs> See ya. What's going on here? Jill was so excited about prep school until her friends started talking about all that science stuff. Why are they working when they should be having fun? It's like they don't even know. That's it. Jill's friends don't know how to have fun. If I can convince them to join the game, they won't have time for imaginary homework and Jill won't have to work so hard. I should try doing those projects with them to gain their trust. I may even learn some. I may even have to learn something. But it'll all be worth it to save my friend. All right, quest start. For some reason you have a UK account. I guess you made it in the UK back in the day when you got a PS3, so you'll see if things actually function. I think you can transfer accounts from memory. Hey again, Link. Have you decided to rally with the Paragons? Sure, yeah. Thinking about it. Just wanted to see what kind of project you were doing. Excellent. I'd be happy to introduce you to the thrilling world of rock engineering. Rock engineering is all about building tools and systems for safe and efficient excavation. Uh-huh. To do that, it's important to understand how strength, size, and temperature affect rock fracture during mining. Uh, uh-huh. A single calculation error could cause a massive landslide or cave-in or devastate the lives of... Wait a second. Mining, rocks, tools, strength. You're just like a blacksmith. It's exactly like a blacksmith or anything else that keeps you this excited about it. That's great. Me and my friends are building a fantasy town at the playground. You should come be our blacksmith. Sounds admissible as community service. I'd be honored. Unfortunately, I'm still in the middle of my study. You wouldn't believe how hard it is to dig up a Paleolithic artifact around here. I can find an artifact for you. That's just the kind of thing heroes do. Is that so? Hmm. In that case, I have devised a brilliant plan. Oh, noble hero. Heed the play of this adroit metal right. I seek an enchanted mineral on a faraway coastline. You need a rock from the beach? Yep, pretty much any beach rock. As long as it's overflowing with magical power. Bring a nice sparkly beach rock back here and together we'll forge something that will blow you away. Can do. Yeah, this is longer than I thought. I might have to split this up over two. I got a beach rock. I mean, enchanted ore. Suzanne can smith something. This into something cool. Maybe it will be a magical sword or an amulet. Can't wait to see.
I got the R. Great. The forge is hot, and so is my smithing spirit. Set it here, and we'll get started. Wow. What, is it a good rock? It looks like a basalt. Seafloor basalt with veins of quartz. Basalt is perfect because it is easier to break down than granite, but heavier and more solid than pumice. Not to mention, the fault lines are superb. It should fracture into the shape we want all on its own. Did you know that right around the time Paleolithic animals evolved to walk upright, they would... All right, yes, yes, it's a good rock. Uh, sorry, yes, it's, it's a really good rock. And it has cool lines, which of course means it's, it is very magic. Now, all we have to do is heat it up and apply pressure so that it fractures. Pressure? Should I sit on it? I was thinking you hit it with... You hit it a bunch, you know, like a blacksmith. Oh, violence. I can do violence. Then have at it, hero. Hone your tool of violence into one of creation. Hit the aura bunch. Just like that. Don't let up. Hold fast and strike true, Link. Hero, do you feel the fire of creation igniting your heart? Do you feel the Earth's power surging through your veins? Brace yourself. One final touch should stabilize it. I'm going in. Wow, wow, wow. Ah. Almost there. Ha. Ah. Ah. We did it. We did it. The transformation is complete. From ash and sweat, we have made our mark upon the world. What is it? What is it? What is it? Is it, is it a magical sword? Oh, is it a laser wand, a power ring, a key to the underworld? Better than all that by a landslide. This is a historical landmark. Have a look for yourself. You have earned this noble tool. It's a hammer. It's, it's a rock attached to a stick with a piece of string and some lines on it, I guess. Is this it? Don't you see, Link? This isn't just a rock and a stick. It's transformative. In the footsteps of engineers of old, we forge the foremother of all tools from nothing but the Earth's bounty. It must be millennia, even hundreds of millennia by now since our two very distant lineages united under this exact goal. Unless you count the Neolithic and Paleolithic periods as indistinct, in which case... Ah! Ah, no more law, please, please no more. Ah, suit yourself. Well, that wraps up my project for today. I'll head to the playground as soon as the other paragons are finished. Are you sure you don't want to hang around and hear all about... Nope, thanks for the rock, see ya, bye. Okay, well, we already solved that one. Hi, Anton. Hey. So you're like the beetle guy. I'm just a normal guy for now. Still waiting on the tragic surgical mishap that will transform me into the beetle guy. Huh? Never mind. Did you need something? Yeah, I'm getting people together for a game and there's a legend of hero character you'd be perfect for. A beetle related character, I assume? Yeah. They love beetles and... They talk funny and sell you rare stuff. It'll be fun. I'll pass. Oh. I've got my own rare beetles to find. Oh, that's okay. Do you want help with that instead? Really? Yeah, I'm the best at helping. I'll find that beetle so fast you'll be done in no time. I'm in no rush. But another pair of eyes couldn't hurt. Take a look at this. Oh, that one. I've seen that one in science books. It's a Hercules beetle. They're native to this forest, but not common. Are they really that big? Only if they eat their vegetables. They're slow and clumsy compared to other beetles, so... About as fast as us, you have to surprise it. Gotcha! They eat rotting wood and fruit. I usually look around fallen trees. Gotcha, gotcha! Also, listen for a sandpaper sound they make. They stridulate their abdomen against their elytra too. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I have all this beetle knowledge in my brain. I'm a beetle finding machine. No more beetle facts required. Right, well. Take this in case you see one. <laughs> hey, 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 no, thanks for the raid. How's it going? How was the stream? A bug net, all right. Good or evil, I'll take whatever you can find. You are playing Minecraft modded. Ah, gotcha.
Was it like pizza and Minecraft? <laughs> you know, it didn't click. Yes. I just said gotcha a bunch of times. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Hello, is it Twitch yet? <laughs> Already lurking, right? Yeah. I'm just gonna swing randomly. I'll, I'm sure I'll find it. It's a pretty big mod pack. I haven't really messed around with Minecraft that much. I tried it and I mean, I prefer Terraria a lot more, so. But I know that I think as a group, it would be f more fun to play that game. Oh, there it is. There it is. That's a Hercules beetle. I have to move as little as possible so I don't scare it off. Just barely tip tap in a direction, as soft as possible. Oh, what the? Ah! I tripped. That cover's blown. Quick before it gets away. I think that was intentional. Like, I, I pressed it pretty softly. Go, 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 go! Catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it! Uh, where'd it go? I'm so close, I'm on the tip of my neck! Is that just gonna go back to... <laughs> it's just gonna go to... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Saw that coming. Hey, you got it. Woo! Sure did. Thanks for the assist, Link. I guess if stealth fails, sprinting and flailing can be okay too. Sprinting is flailing is all I do. Hey, is your shirt a cape now? Oh yeah, it's my costume. I'd like to join your game if that's still okay. It's just I'm more than my hobby. I like beetles, but I don't want to be the weird beetle guy. I thought I could be uh, a hunter or something. You can totally be a hunter. Even a monster hunter if you want. Sure. And if there are too many people around, I can go hunt into the wilderness for a while. Yeah. Hunt some wilderness monsters. Or some ground beetles by the creek. Yeah. Wait. I might have to borrow Suzanne's shovel. Wait, but... You wouldn't want to scare some bugs out of the mud for me, would you? Haha, <laughs> okay, happy hunting, bye! So this is like the Animal Crossing world where there's like humanoid animals, but then also real animals. Who else is missing? Ah, you. My word, if it isn't the great hero, who seeks to unite us and all the heart of the world? Oh, you already know about the game? A good marketer, or oh, wait, a good marketeer? Must always keep their nose in the latest news. I adore the idea. I've already devised a quest for you. Awesome! Better yet, I've incorporated elements of my research project. Ah, oh, man. Around here, paper currency is scarce, but our hearts and lunchboxes are brimming with life. The conditions are perfect to experience real-life bartering. A cupcake for a cheek keychain, three juice boxes to build a fence, that sort of thing. I have paper currency, sort of. It's... Paper. Unfortunately, I lack even half of your creativity with raw confetti, so it holds no value to me. However, I do have a heroic service I need to be performed. Maybe you'd be up for it? Well, I guess if it's a heroic service. Up on that nearby hill in the land where the leaves never change, there is a horde of shape monsters. Shape monsters? You mean shapeshifters? You might catch them doing a pinch of shifting, but mostly, they just shape. Whatever they are, they have a small chance to drop a special yellow triangle. Ah! Heroes are all about getting yellow triangles! I knew you'd appreciate that part. 
once you have all the yellow tri once you have the yellow triangle i'll trade you anything in my shop for it cool what's in the shop right of course let me get it all laid out for you here it is a fine selection dare i say have a look around if you like otherwise i wish you safe passage in the hills Yeah, am I, am I gonna have to, like... Is one of these gonna be pig-shaped? This one's a literal triangle. That was a Triforce. I mean, hey, it benefits me, like, I get more confetti. How rare is this drop? Finally, I must have cleared out the whole forest for this yellow triangle. Not the kind I was expecting, but it must be what Jean wanted. Time to go trade up. Oh man, that, that is making me a little bit hungry, not gonna lie. Like, I could go for a grilled cheese. I'm back, Jean. Is this the yellow triangle you wanted? I had to fight my way through the entire forest, but I got it. Oh, yes, it is. But, um, what about that? Hi, Link. Check out all this cool stuff I just bought. It was going to cost me a bushel of apples, but I don't know what a bushel is, so I haggled down to two apples. What, Jean? It's, um, well, taking a while to find my lost lunch, and I was getting very hungry. So, I got a bit desperate, whoops. You can't just sell the whole shop while I'm doing you a heroic service. No, of course not. Very bad form. Oh, this is quite the pickle. Wait, Link. Did you want to buy some of this stuff? I was supposed to get one as a quest reward, but... Okay, let's haggle for it. Haggle? Ah, uh, well. Let's see. Esme will want the grass for rituals. The shiny beads are perfect for Andromeda. I was going to use this weird frisbee thing as a serving platter, but I can part with it. What do you want for it? Well, I've been looking for something to be the signature dish and focal point of my restaurant idea. Something that sits neatly on a plate, but upright enough to be seen from an audience angle. Something brightly colored to contrast the dark cutthroat world of competition cooking. Something that projects both opulence and scarcity. Something like, I don't know, half a cheese sandwich? But. Who only finishes half of such a delicacy? Seriously? Yeah. I have that. You do? Yep. Let's trade. Deal. <laughs> Finally, I got this fancy looking big plate. Man, powdering is easy. Sorry. You ain't have a fancy plate to put your sandwich on. What do you mean? Oh, dang, you're right. That's okay. With my bartering skills, pretty soon I'll be rolling in plates. Haha. <laughs> You'll have your own plate mobile. Away I go in my amazing patent pending plate mobile. Bye, Link. Bye. Well, that was fortuitous. You got off the hook easy. I hope you learned not to make promises like that next time. Absolutely. From now on, I'm never doing business on an empty stomach. I guess this means the research project is cancelled, huh? Heavens no. This kind of data is indispensable. What? To witness an exchange of goods completely outside of my influence was inspiring. If I can convert that, if I can convert the raw materials lying around into more goods, I can stimulate even more such trade. Say, you're good at making things. How about a business partnership? Ah! Dang it! That's all of Jill's friends. I did so much boring work, and it backfired. Every single one of them just got even more into their project. Ah, time to tell Jill the bad news. Hey, Jill, sorry, my quest was a complete failure. Quest? What quest? I was trying to get everyone to have some fun so you wouldn't have to work so hard, but it didn't work at all. Jean is, like, trying to inject some economic theory into the playground. What? Yeah, and Anton and I found this awesome beetle, but he only wants more beetles. Wait, really? I thought Suzanne was going to do something fun, but instead she just made some kind of authentic paleolithic tool or something. Wow. Yeah, sorry I couldn't. I gotta see this. Huh, she ran off. Weird. I should go catch up with her. 
Hey, Jill, are you alright? You just ran off. Oh, sorry, Scales. It's just everyone's project sounded so exciting. Couldn't wait to take a look. Exciting, really? You bet it was exciting. We've all had a great time playing your game, Link. And we have a lot to show for it. Absolutely we do. I wouldn't have learned half as much about trade if it weren't for them. You've been a big help. You mean, you guys were having fun the whole time? I thought you only cared about school stuff. Of course our, educational, our education is paramount, but a growing mind needs rest and recreation as much as study. Mental health awareness is one of the premier Paragon pillars. Oh cool, does that mean Jill won't have to work so hard? <laughs> I suppose I got carried away worrying about keeping up. If all of these star scholars can make the time to play, then so can I. Aw, oh, Jill, you flatter us. Great, so, um, see you all at the playground? Count on it. Okay, so that's like a, a big quest. Which I imagine, you know, if I had... If I had, uh... Found the last pump, that probably would have happened as well. Wow, 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 it's you, the legendary hero. I heard there was a hero on an adventure, so I've been waiting all day for you to come by. Haha, <laughs> it's me. Do you need help with some kind of quest? Yes, well, no, I mean, kind of. It's a request. Can I be your side quest? Sidekick? Jeez. Oh, um. I've always wanted to be a hero. I have a hero name and the catchphrase and everything. But I don't have any work experience. My dad says that's important because of the economy. I know about. Please, 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 let me be your sidekick. I'll carry your stuff and clean your cape and... Alright. Well, okay. I guess I could try having a sidekick for a little while. Yes, 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 yes. This is amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What should we do first? Carry something up a mountain? Learn about swords? Ah, uh, maybe we can start at the playground. We're building a town there. Wow, that's so cool. Let's go right now. Bah, okay. Where's... Dude, where are you going? Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> I, I just need to breathe for a second. Okay, let's go. Uh, are you sure you want to follow me around all day? Sorry, you're really fast. Maybe... Maybe I wouldn't be such a good sidekick after all. No, no, I'm, I'm sure somebody at the playground could use a sidekick. Maybe somebody who likes to stay in one spot for a while. You think so? That'd be so great. Work experience, here I come. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's that stuff I was holding for you. <laughs> and now he just, now he just runs. Just runs faster than what I can. Ah, uh, that was great. Okay, hang on. Anything else left to craft? That. No, not quite enough for that. The problem is I don't have a frame of reference. Like, <laughs> where? Where the, the pumps were. Maybe if I just follow this path back, like, eventually I'll get there. I'm definitely gonna have to split this up over two streams. This is longer than I thought. <laughs> oh, yeah. La la la. La la la, no one can see me. I am invisible, la la la, I can't be seen. Someone approaches, they can't see me. I hear someone talking, but where could it be coming from? There's no one here. <laughs> Where's that mysterious laughter coming from? Is there a spirit here? Ah, you can hear me, Traveller. Only people attuned to the magic can hear my voice. A gift for a friend such as you. There we go. La la la, no one can see me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you gotta play along. Oh, 
Oh, I can craft. I keep pressing the wrong button. Where is it? Tower shield. Let me just resolve the, uh, the pump situation. Oh, no, we shouldn't be here. This is like the center. Oh gosh, oh gosh, monsters! Help me, Traveler! Defeat these terrifying monsters! And oh, no, they're behind you! Wow, you did it! Oh, thank goodness, they were everywhere! I heard someone needed monsters, so I made some. I built and built and built all over the place, but then I actually looked at one. I had no idea how scary they were. Thank you for saving me from my own creations. Okay, we're back at the pumps. I found my way back. Now I just need to find the last one. You, you! Hey, have you met the cool kids? Oh yeah, I've met them. Whoa, and you even talk to them? Well, yeah. It wasn't that hard. Wow, amazing, please, I need your help. I want to be their friend, but I'm scared I'll make a bad first impression. So which one of these poses do you think they'll like more? Pose one. Pose two. Or pose three. So which one? Can I see them again? Pose one. Pose two. Pose three. Pose two. Yes, yes, you're right, you're right, you're so right. With this pose, I'm unstoppable. I'll be best friends with those cool kids, for sure. Thank you so much, Traveler. <laughs> That's just gonna... Gonna keep doing it randomly. Where's this last pump? Oh uh, yeah. There was this shark that lost. Why did it get stuck? Oh, there it is. Okay, found it. What? What? How are you? I don't think. Anyone mentioned your name before? What was it? Oh, you're still doing the honking thing. Could you maybe just talk to me, please? I heard you saying full sentences just a minute ago. Yes, you did. You said entire normal words. Yes, yes, you did. Honk again. If I can turn the pump back on. Haha, gotcha. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hey, knock it off. Everything okay over here? I heard the commotion all the way from the splash pad. I just want to talk, but your friend won't stop honking at me. I'm pretty sure they only ever honk. It's kind of their thing. Stop. Well, that's no reason to push somebody. All right, Link. Let's all try to calm down. What are you going to do? Sue them? You know what? Yeah, I am. Court is now in session. Dude, I was kidding. You, whatever your name is, you stand accused of obstruction of fun and being rude. How do you plead? 
Very well. I called Martin to the stand. <sighs> yeah. I'm going to ask you some simple questions and then decide if you're telling the truth. Wait, so are you the lawyer or the judge? I like the questions here, yeah, thank you. Martin, is it true your unnamed friend has never spoken a word? That's the truth. As long as I've known Duke, they've never said anything except cool honks. <laughs> He's sweating. Interesting statement, Martin. I just have one question. If Duke has never said a word to you, then how do you know their name? <laughs> well, uh... Lucas and Jada told me, obviously. They've known Duke longer than I have. Okay, how did they know? Huh. Yeah, well, you see, uh, it must have been like, uh, what really happened was, uh... Enough! The dick is up, Martin. You can quit covering for me. Sorry for getting you mixed up in this racket. Aha, I knew it! Straight from a goose's mouth. It's for the best, now that my secret is revealed. I can legal battle Link head on. Huh? Yeah, I may be talking, but you can't make me sing. This case isn't over yet. Bring it on, Doke. That is your real name. And I hope it is, because this will be a lot more confusing if it isn't. So, uh, is it cool if I go now? Oh, sure, you can go. Yeah, thanks for checking on us. Cool. Uh, later. Good luck with, uh, this. Alright, Defendant Duke. Let's get right to the question on everyone's mind. Why did you push me on the day of the crime? Because you were trying to get to the pump. I didn't want you to, duh. You could have told me that. Yeah, well, it ain't always easy. Besides, anyone with eyes can see that we all want the water to stay off. Or do you? Heh. <laughs> I have a reason to believe otherwise. Is that so? So fine. Then I might as well say whatever you want to hear. Even though all my friends want the water off, I don't care at all. Doop dee doo 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 doo. Oh. You know what? I think you're telling the truth. You don't actually care about the water, do you? Squat, what? No, uh, I was being sarcastic. Don't you know how to re reverse the psychology? Not even a little. But my expert detective skills tell me there's another reason you pushed me. So if you don't care about the water, why did you push me? But I do care. There's uh, no use. And getting nothing past you, Link. I pushed you because the cool kids are counting on me. I'm already the lamest one in the gang. Can't go spilling milk just to get my beak wet. If I disappoint kids as cool as them, they'll never want to talk to me again. Hmm, according to my expert detective skills, they really believe they're telling the truth. But that can't be true. I say stupid stuff all the time, and Martin still talks to me. In fact, I can't think of any good friend that would do that. Something's fishy here. You really believe they would just drop you from the group? Of course I do. If I disappoint kids as cool as them, they'll never want to talk to me again. Oh. Okay, I have to pick another option. I can't believe it. That doesn't mean it's a lie. Something about this super personal to Duke. I need to be careful what I say so I don't hurt their feelings even more. I know Martin pretty well. Are you sure you would let stuff like that happen? Maybe not to you, but I'm another story. But disappoint kids. Okay, doubt. Sorry, Duke. There's something about your story that doesn't add up. If the cool kids would stop being your friend because you talk about your feelings, then they wouldn't be very cool at all. Are you crazy? Lucas, Jada, and Martin are cooler than anyone on the island. If that's true, then they'd never do something so uncool. You can talk to them. No, Link, you're just wrong. It just wouldn't work out. I know, because I've already lost another group of friends that way. Oh, what happened? One day, everything was daisies. The next, my pal, my best pal, 
told me that everyone was just pretending to like me. Maybe I was annoying. Did I say the wrong thing? I don't know. Anyway, I left them alone. I figured if I didn't say anything this time, I can't say whatever messed everything up last time. Wow. Duke. That guy sounds like a huge dick, Jack. You don't even know what you did. I bet your other friends miss you a lot. It hurt to hear, but what if everyone really is just pretending? I don't know. If your new best buddy was pretending, would he have withheld your secret in the court of law? I guess Martin did do a federal crime for me, huh? He risked a life sentence just to show you he cares. I bet Jada and Lucas would do the same. Therefore, my final verdict is that your friends like you and you should talk to them. I also sentenced that big liar to the shadow dimension forever. <laughs> I'll, I'll try. Thanks, Link. Sorry for getting so riled up at you before. That was really lame. It's okay. I'm happy we talked about it. But if you're wondering how you could make it up to me, there's this water pump I'd like to switch on. Listen, I'm just going to walk back to the splash pad and whatever happens, happens. I hope to see you there again. Phew, that was exhausting. But now I can finally sentence this pump to be open. Court adjourned. Okay, that's all the pumps done. Time to head back to the splash pad. I just got a Sherlock Holmes hat. Oh, I don't have enough to craft that yet, but, you know. There's still the matter of, uh... The shark has lost something. I feel like it would be something obvious. Oh, this? There's some sort of weird spike thing. Maybe someone lost this. There we go. It's usually in the immediate area. I found this weird spiky thing. Is this it? That's it, my retainer. My dad is always telling me not to lose it, but I lost it and... <clears throat> Thank you, Traveler. The magic on in this item will help sustain my life force? Yeah, that works. Great. You really saved my scales. Thanks. Okay. Naruto! Hmm. Things seem kind of tense over here. Better go turn on the main pump back on quick. Finally, I have defeated everyone's cool. Now they'll have fun for sure. Here it comes. Here it comes. Ah, stuck again. Is it coming? So I guess you guys all wanted the water on after all. It's whatever. We were kind of... We were being kind of dry. It wouldn't hurt to get wet. Same. I'm down for a splash sometimes, but it's cool hanging with you guys wherever. I can vibe with that. I just... I didn't want you guys to think I was lame. No chance, dude. Feels good to talk it out. Anything you want to add, Dick? Haha, <laughs> yeah, hit us with a feel-good honk, Duke of Cool. Actually, uh, I got an idea you fellas might like. Well, the Duke speaks. It's an honor. What's the plan? I figure since this is our turf and kids are out there making towns, why don't we just make this place a town of our own? Well, yeah, we could all be the mayors of Coolsville. I see some great spots for a few houses, maybe a lounge. All the kids who want to hang with us will finally have an excuse to stick around. Great idea, dude. Ha, huh, you think? Ah, oh, stop. You guys are too good to me. There's one more thing any good town needs. I bet we'll see it any second now. I just realized, uh, <laughs> the other guy's posing behind. There it is, main attraction. Huh? This isn't how I imagined everyone playing in the water. Oh wait, wrong voice. Doesn't matter. I'm surprised you were able to convince anyone to turn it on at all. But you did, and talking to everyone was nice. Not to mention Coolsville is looking dope. Yeah. Ready to bring some Coolsville back to the playground town? You know it, dude. Keep the place warm for us.
Okay. All right. I'm going to do a part two of this. It's been three and a half hours. And I don't want this to be like one lengthy video. So I'll do more of this tomorrow. <laughs> but this is a lot of fun. I mean, you know, it's just a chill game. You just kick back with the explore. And it's made me laugh a few times. So definitely enjoying this one. All right, uh, yeah, I want to play some Stardew before we wrap up for tonight, so give me like five minutes to get some water and uh, stretch my legs for a bit. Get yourselves a snack or something, and uh, we'll be back shortly. It's just a small intermission. But if you're here for Little Gator Game, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. And if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking the video, and you know the drill. If you want to see more of this kind of stuff, just hit that like button so then I know but you know completely optional don't have to but appreciate it if you do <laughs> <laughs>